This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Online dating has its benefits, but it also has its problems, mostly having to do with lack of context. No one really has tried to solve them until now. 3Neon is a dating app designed to reduce stress, frustration, and worry from online dating and to help make your glass half full again. Why aren't they replying? Are they just liking every profile? Should I send the first message? Do they even intend to meet? These are the common challenges that come with dating apps and it can take the fun out of meeting new people. Worry no more. Three Neon handles all of that. This app features has features not available in any other dating app. Features that will allow you to focus on the good things about dating, not the bad. No more worrying about things getting out of control. No more hasty ghosting. No more games. They've also added a YMH button in the settings what? that let other people know you're a fan of the podcast. Crazy. So, if you're tired of typical dating app BS, then download 3Neon now. We will, they will be launch, launching in the city that has the most downloads in the next 30 days first. So, get that app now. That is very common, by the way, with new dating app development. I did a bunch of research on it, what these guys do. They make it available first on Android and later on iOS. And what happens is whatever market gets the most downloads signed up on Android is like the first one where everything will launch and then it kind of grows from there. So go to the Google Play Store, search for 3Neon, that's the number three, the word neon, 3Neon, um, no spaces, download and install. As soon as enough people in your area have downloaded it, the app will unlock, you can start dating minus the games. It's free, it's stylish, and it's a fresh take on using apps for dating. 3Neon was built to help people it's the dating app for people sick of dating apps. 3Neon, worry less, available for download on Android now and iOS this year a little bit later. All right. Thank you, 3Neon. Okay, real quick, we've added a couple new shows. Uh, we are going to be in Kingston, New York with the Take It Down Tour. That's happening November 6th. I will be at the Ulster Performing Arts Center. That show is on sale now that's in kingston new york november 6. i also just added a show in windsor ontario yes, my at the coliseum at caesar's windsor that is going to be december 8th that is on sale now uh make sure you get tickets to see that show those are just added um additionally let's see i'm going to be in canada very soon and other places if you want to come to a show you could probably still get tickets. A few tickets left to the Late Show in Toronto. That's August 15th. The Late Show in Winnipeg, August 16th. And the Late Show in Vancouver, August 17th. From there, I roll on to the South. Memphis, Knoxville, Greenville, Charleston, Durham, and Charlottesville. Uh, make sure you get tickets of those. They're all at tomsegura.com slash tour. Check out the rest of the dates. i um, still got a bunch of cities that I'm coming to, including some European dates. TomScura.com slash tour. Jean? All right. I am touring as well. Uh, we're doing September 5th. The back room at the... Collective, why am I saying that? Milwaukee. Just say Milwaukee. September 6th, Chicago. September 7th, Boston. And then October 3rd through 5th, Nashville. October 17th, I've added Irvine. That's Spermvine, California. November 22nd, Seattle. And then November 23rd, Portland, Oregon. So check me out, Christina P. Online. Also, I'm so happy to um, announce my brand new podcast called Where Are My Moms At? It's a podcast for parents. And actually, I've had a lot of people who aren't parents who tell me they love listening. I get real on motherhood. Um, cut through all the BS that's out there. It's on the Christina P. YouTube channel. You can watch their episodes drop every Monday. If you subscribe, 
Uh, that's the best way to do it on iTunes Monday morning. And the video is out on Mondays at noon on YouTube. We've had Alyssa Milano on. Dr. Drew will be on. Leanne Kreischer. And I like to take emails and voicemails and stuff from people. If you know a mom, tag her. Tell her. If you got Listen, I know a lot of dudes listen to the show. Tell your lady to come listen to where my mom's at. So there you go. All right. Thank um, you. Another quick note. Um, if you don't know... One of our favorite comics is Chad Daniels. He has a comedy special. It's been out for a minute called Dad Chaniel. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. He is one of the best comedians working today. Luckily for you, if you have Amazon Prime, you can check that out right now. You can also listen to it. Um, if you listen to the audio streaming everywhere, Apple Music, Amazon, Spotify, wherever you listen to comedy, check out the new Chad Daniels, special dad, Chaniels. And... I love that guy. He's so funny. Right as we pulled up here to, to record this segment, I was on the phone with my cousin, and I told my cousin, you can spend the night at our house tomorrow if you come over. And then you said to her, and you can finger your pussy while you're there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and yeah. she was like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. And you go, you heard me, you can finger your, you can. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. what was that all about? Well, I'll tell you why. Yeah, please tell me why. First of all, your cousin, it's Jeanette, and yeah. she's been on your mom's house. She has been years many, ago. many years ago. And for those of you who don't know cousin Jeanette, she can rip burps yeah, like a big a 500 pound trucker. So mm -hmm. she is no lady. So don't think that she can't handle a, mm. com a comment like that. She is so nasty. Is pretty... She says crazy stuff to me all the time. I, things that I've never even repeated to you. They're so really? vulgar. Oh my God. Okay. She talks about, I'll, I'll just give you a little teaser about um, um, used dirty sex toys uh. that she lets lay around uh. and that, yeah, and then reusing them and getting infections from them and things like that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, she nasty, so she can handle it. I'm really happy with this start. <laughs> you brought it up, bro. <laughs> I'm so, well, cause you, you know, you've well, been extra nasty lately, though, around the house. You've been farting a lot more with, in your boxer shorts at night when we're laying in bed. No. You walk to the bathroom and you play the butt flute and you... You pull, pull your butt cheeks apart and you Dude, make the sound. Anyone go. who hasn't done that hasn't lived. Next time you have a, you could feel like a big fart coming, and you're like you're standing up. Take your clothes, be be butt naked, and take your hand and just. That's what he does. Jiggle could your. Could you cheeks. show them? I don't think just people jiggle, understand. Jiggle Stand up cheeks. and show them. No, no, no. Jiggle your cheeks. Nobody and, gets it. And the air <laughs> will will come out differently the against pitch. the yeah the pitch will change. So it'll go like, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> yeah. That, it's like revving an engine. But you've been doing it a lot. Like we, I've been laying yeah, but in bed. I mean, why would I waste well, let, the opportunity? Uh, let me tell you what I've been doing for you, though. As a beautiful wife, mother of two children, I'm trying to maintain for you. So am I. I buy nice, uh, pretty pajamas, so I don't look like a dumpy wife. And here I am in my nice silky jammies, and then you get up to go pee, and then you're rub, 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 your butt. You think you could show some respect? I, I, I do respect you. don't you. even think of me as a woman. I anymore. do think of you as a woman. Of mm. course. I just have a little, uh, I go, oops, I had a little toot. Like you that. say, oops, you're yeah. so nasty. I'm not nasty. You're the one that told me you basically <gasps> est in your panties mm -hmm. at Nordstrom's. Mm. Uh, I did. In the dressing room. Well, here's what That's I was gross. wondering. Here's a debate I'd like to have. With and by you. the way, you always put on this show yeah. about like, Tom's gross. I mean, you fart and burp all day. Yeah. No, yeah. professionally, just on the job. But at home, I'm very clean. No. At home, I don't really do it so much, do I? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, you do. You do it all the time. You do it at the table. You'll go, bah! and then so the other thing, you'll just like casually pass by it. Yeah. It's kind of gross. But that's why I have two little boys. We high five, and that's how you teach them to be boys. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, so I was in. I was at the uh, Nordstrom, you know. Yes. And I um. I'm glad I wasn't on, there. Trying on bras by myself, and I I had to fart, and I was holding them in, holding them in, and she went away to go get me another size bra. The, the sales attendant, and a little a little bit snuck out, 
<laughs> yeah, just a little. And the you know that moment of panic washes over you. It's like she's gonna be back any yeah. second. So in my stupid, dumb animal brain, I was like, what if I open up the the door to the 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 changing room? Then the Maybe air will it'll leave. It'll air yeah. it out, yeah. and like I'll be safe. No, she knows. Do you think she knew? She definitely knew. Yeah, and it happens all the time. She's walking into far clouds all day. <laughs> She definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> Happens all the time. I feel like I do that a lot. I've done that. You know, I've done it at parties too. <laughs> I've done it at bars. Or like, you know, like you're like, oh, I gotta rip one and you you fart and you're like, oh my God. And then you turn and someone's like, hey man, oh my and you're like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, comedy store. The, the comedy store. Co for some reason, I always choose to eat garlic and vegetables right before a set at the comedy store. And then I have like ripping hot farts. And I'll be like in the green room alone and I'll like let a hot one fly. And then like Neil Brennan will come in. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, he's man. Like, he's like, hmm. Yeah, and he'll call you out. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Um, you want to you yeah. wanna play this opening clip? Yeah, I'm so, so you are excited. really excited about I'm this. So I don't know excited. what we're going to watch. It's so great. I'll just I'll play it and then we can get into the yeah, damn and dirty. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, here. Oh, let me make sure. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> what do you think makes it a great talent? All right, kid. Let me get more into that, man. All the doors with more of that. Not hot leather door. Yeah, lots of tourists around. The doors don't get out, man. It's great, isn't it? Great. Give me your boy. Who is right? Don't bring your mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. me so happy let me allow me to point out yana that i get a lot of s for my tiktok selections this guy doesn't seem far off from a tiktok you know yeah. what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm not sure what he's saying do you not, do you know what he's saying at all <laughs> this is an irish man right and uh it was just sent to me on twitter <laughs> by dara quilty that's the guy's name i think yeah dara or dara dara quilty um, he sent me this and he was like I hope to see this on your mom's house <laughs> and I watched it and I was like I'm sending this right away to Blue Band and yeah <laughs> do you think the other guy can understand what he's saying the uh, guy in the purple sweater does he know what that he guy does says? he actually he does? the way you can tell that he does is in his answers <laughs> he'll say what the guy's saying he's like oh like, blah, like, blah, blah, he's like blah, explaining blah, blah. it Here's, here it is from the from the beginning. And we're here in Clarny because we've been invited by a very special character. I hear he's a local legend, and his name is Sham. Oh, Sham, look at that. No reason, Sham, look at that. Sham, how are you? Oh, my dear. We're here in Clarny today. Nice to meet you. Are you from Clarny? I'm 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 from I'm from Outroy. Born and bred. Born and bred in Clarny. Oh shit. So if you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening, he. He appears to not make eye contact at all. I don't know if he is blind, right? Because he doesn't look oh, at the guy he's meeting at he's all. He's just drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he doesn't have all his teeth. No, he doesn't have all of his teeth. Um, I don't know how many. No, there's only one, two, three, just like our, our infant son. Yeah. I think our infant has more teeth than this guy. That's, yeah. That's he not, did not take good care of his teeth. I tell our toddler that all the time. You got to take you care gotta of You got to brush him, otherwise you're going to look yeah. like this guy. I mean, I, I kind of pick up on <laughs> a little bit of what he's saying, you know, like a little bit. No reason, have none of that. <laughs> Sean, how are you? Oh, oh, my dear. Good, my We're dear. We're here in Killarney today. Nice to meet you. Nice are to you meet from you. Killarney? I'm from Killarney. I'm from Killarney. Born and bred. Born and bred. away. <laughs> but what's what he did? What do you say? Master of accents. We haven't played this in a long time. I know. Time. I know. This is a master of accents segment, <laughs> but I don't like. He. I'm most troubled by where he's looking. 
He's not looking anywhere near I, where the guy is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's not even looking in that direction. Isn't that one? But maybe the, he's never seen a camera before. Like maybe mm, he's like, "The fuck is that thing?" I think that's one of the symptoms of diabetes, isn't it? You go blind. Maybe. Alcoholic. Yeah, diabetes. they do. They do. <laughs> this guy's been drained. Wait, are you trying to tell me this guy has health problems? <laughs> you mean he doesn't what do you work think out? Makes it a great well, he looks at oh, it. Oh, uh, what? That means he's more in the ground, man. All the doors, that. Not hard to do. Yeah, lots of tourists around. The tourists don't get out, man. It's great, isn't it? Great, give me a drug away. Fucking A. I don't... I missed I mean, these. I didn't realize how much I missed these until now. How many pints <laughs> do you think he's had in his day? All the pints. All of them. All day. All day, all, day, all pints. Like man, Guinness, Guinness no. can basically yeah. break down their yeah. revenue, and they're like, and then there's him. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. There's Europe and this guy. Yeah. North but America. There, Guinness has some healthful properties, which is why he's still alive. I, think. I guess. Wait, yeah. can you keep? Can you play it again? This one. It makes me laugh. But he's moving his eyes another direction. Yeah, no, this this time so, he actually. So he looks at him. Yeah, he looks at him. So and his eyes move. Yeah. Uh oh. So he's yeah. not blind. What do you think makes it a great nice town? Oh, again. Let me see more in the ground, man. All the doors will more that. Not hard to the door. Yeah. Lots of tourists around. The doors don't get out, man. It's great. Is he speaking Gaelic? <laughs> It's Welsh, isn't it? I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's Pig Latin. I mean, I have no idea. What it could be guy. fucking Aramaic. That's how little I understand of <laughs> it. Swahili. <laughs> and the guy's like, so it's great. The tourists are coming. Great, <laughs> isn't it? Great, give me Jogway. Great, give me Jogway. Give me Jogway. What's he saying? Fuck. Let's, let's try to. What's your try favorite now. thing about Killarney? Timmy Carlin, my best thing. Shutting Timmy Carlin, shutting you bet my bet to me, Connor. Yeah. I'm just again. Good player. Poop player. He's a poop player. He's a poop player. Jimmy Connor came in around in the hair. Dude. What is he saying, Tommy? Please. Let me get let me get it. Hold on. Wait, let's try the translation. Let's really try. Let's, I'm really gonna listen now. Right. Okay, ready? And what's your favorite thing about Killarney? Okay, he says, so what's, what's your, your favorite, favorite thing? thing about Killarney? Sure. <laughs> I got that. What's Kal Killarney's the That's region? That's the city there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. To me, Colin, my best thing is to me the Killarney, the best thing is. Wow. Yeah. So he's about to tell you. Wow. I did not. Mm -hmm. I'll Tune in into Killarney. No, to me, Killarney, the best thing is. Wow. To me, Colin, my best thing is. The best thing is. Make a bigger. To me, Killarney, the best thing The best thing is. To me, Killarney, the best thing is. To me, Killarney, the best thing is. Yeah. Uh, I'm said lost the cheese. Again. The cheese. No. Yeah, we make great no. cheese. And there's great then people play, here. Play it again. Play it again. I'm being serious. I really can't understand this guy. No shit, you can't understand. Say it You're acting like you can't understand. There are times I can. This is really bad. This guy is under another planet. Okay. And what's your favorite thing about Killarney? <laughs> Timmy Carlin, my best thing. Shut it in. Timmy Carlin, shut it in. You bet my best to Timmy Connor. Yeah. Shut it in. Good player. Jimmy player. Connor is a poo player. He's a good player. Yeah. Jimmy Connor is a good player. Yeah, a I mean, player. Thing, Jimmy Connor came from here and he's a good player. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Who's Jimmy Connor? Tell me if you think this is a player? good idea or not. We're going to go with the Jarvie. The Jarvie? Jarvie? Yeah. Good idea? Quite an old I'm a Jarvie. I'm a farmer. You're a farmer. I'm a good farmer. <laughs> I'm a potato farmer. He's a farmer, yeah. He's a potato farmer? I don't think I heard potato. I'm a potato farmer. He said I'm a dry farmer, right? His nose looks like a potato. Yeah. Oh, there we go. How much Tell me if you think this is a good idea or not. We're going to go with the Jarvie. Jarvie? Yeah. Good idea? Quite an old I'm a Jarvie. I'm a farmer. You're a farmer. I'm a joint farmer. I'm a joint farmer. No, we're yeah. a joint farmer. I'm a joint farmer. With a pot? Like I I, I I I grow joints. First of all, I don't know why this guy is a legend. He's like, we're gonna what meet do you the, mean? the legend, Kaka Doodle Doo, or whoever his name is. You don't understand why this is a legend. Why is he a legend? Who the fuck do you think else is in this town that's like this? <laughs> this guy is the one and only. He's a local legend. <laughs> the three tooth drunk guy. Of course. But there's one of those in every place in Ireland. Not Island. like this guy. <laughs> this guy's everywhere in the UK. He's at every pub. And is this your regular spot? We're in O'Connor's bar. I want Jack Jizz to oh, go nice now it makes sense. The best thing about about the town is O'Connor's bar, the bar that he's in. 
Oh. Remember, what's the best thing? And he goes, Connor. And what's your favorite thing about Killarney? To me, Connor, my best thing is Jackson Den. To me, Connor, from Jackson Den. To me, my best thing is me, Connor. Yeah. Jackson Den. Connor. Good this is player. depressing. No, it's fine. He's fine. Look how stoked the guy is in the purple shirt to be listening to this. Well, nonsense. yeah, he's never met a TikTok up close. And <laughs> yeah, he's... He is stoked. And is this your regular spot? We're in O'Connor's bar. Oh I want Jack this door now. He's red. Jack, tell me to change your one and Jack this. Okay. I moved around. You moved around a lot. I mean, I just jacked off. Oh, boy. He said, I just jacked off. <laughs> he did. You hear him say it? He said it. He goes, I just jacked off at the very end. Let's hear it. He did. <laughs> and is this your regular spot? We're in O'Connor's bar. I want Jack this door now. He's red. Jack, tell me to change your one and Jack this. Okay. I moved around. You moved around a lot. Right I made mean, like this jacked off. I just jacked off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Jack and Jill went up the hill. And then, and then I we moved around a lot, off. and I just jacked off. <laughs> yeah. That's really great. But come here. Is this your favorite pub in town? No, I enjoyed them there. They're good to me. They're good to you. She's getting the bar, but they're good to me. Linda. Linda's good to me. Linda's good to you. She's oh. back there somewhere. She's hiding from the camera. Hiding the camera. <laughs> Linda. God. Linda, Linda wants nothing What's the point of Guinness this? like here, Sham? Good. 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 I love Guinness. <laughs> so you recommend Killarney anyway. Best town in Ireland. Best town in Ireland. Yeah. True town. And what age are you now, Sham? Do you mind 71 that? gone. Wow. I'm my best 71. Tell me when I'm gone. 71 gone. 71 and gone? 71 of them are gone. The oh, I thought he meant. Oh, oh, oh. You know? 71 and I'm gone. He has a hard 71. <laughs> oh, shit. Where, <coughs> He's really. Jack, tell me to change your one and Jack this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm not enjoying them there. They're good to me. <laughs> well, you're doing great for 71, aren't you? Great. Thank God. I'm going to see 78. Oh, of course you will, yeah. Absolutely. And what's the crack like with all the lads here in the bar? Great, nice lad. Right. What's the crack life? like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enjoying my brother there. How do you shoot the shit with the boys here? What's the crack like with the boys? Yeah. With the lads here. Great. Oh it's fucking, these guys are the shit. How well, you're doing great for 71, aren't you? Great. Thank God. How many is Oh, of course you will, yeah. Absolutely. And what's the crack like with all the lads here in the bar? Great, nice lad. Let me I'm enjoying it, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm done. Well, that's I the am, last one. I'm done. Thank God, because I'm exhausted. I keep thinking, do you ever, um, when you see people like him, you just think, thank God, I'm not that guy. <laughs> if you're listening to this and you're ever depressed in your life, just be, just think at least I'm not that guy talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. Oh, my God. Mm. That's a really good master of accents. I mean, that really brought it back to me, you know? Yeah. I, need, I need to work on the muscle again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really cool. That is terrible. Uh, How you depressing know, is that place? Fuck that. You know what to me <sighs> is God. symbolic of America? You always bum me out with your clips. How? I feel like my clips up, uplift the show and then. Oh, here, I this get is uplifting. You could, be, you could be happy that you're not this lady. Okay. Hey, guys! Oh, you can get your money back! You better move your damn car! She wants so, her money back. Yeah, it's a lady at a drive through yeah. that's on fire. She's at a Burger King that's on fire. The employees have left, and the reason they left the building is because it's on fire. And the lady's like, I want my money. <laughs> I guess she hasn't been given her change yet. Right. And, oh, um, right, right. It's like two two seventy five, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. How much change do you think it's it's worth to stick around? I mean, like, how much could she possibly be waiting for that's worth this confrontation? Like One thirty-eight or right. something. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty cool. You, you know, know what I was thinking the other day is how bananas like people have always acted like this in public. Yeah. And until now, we you get to see it. We just didn't know yeah. that this lunacy happened. And then the rest of the world is lucky that we get to showcase it to you. <laughs> So in case, you, in case you miss it in your personal life, we're here to give it to you. 
You know, what's interesting is we were talking about that, how that's really been our talent is mm. finding the outer reaches, the corners, the dark recesses. The best of, of the best. Yeah, the best of the best. Yeah. And showcasing <clears throat> for everybody. Oh, that's, that's rude. Damn. That's so rude to put down working people. I of hate course people it is. Do that. And, what, bitch, you, like, you and never she's the at real King, bitch. dummy that's sitting there trying to get yeah. your fucking change from yeah, the building that's on fire. Stupid bitch. Like who needs to be told, hey, make sure you don't go in there right well, now because it's on fire. That fucking TikTok right yeah. there, bro. Yeah, well. <clears throat> what a it's, jerk. It's a real jerk move, man. It's a real jerk move to talk to someone. You know how like horrible, that. hard, and hard that job is to work at Burger King, and and you know what I mean. Deal yeah. with the public, and then you're smelling nasty food all day long, and no, it's not easy. <sighs> That's tough. That is tough. I was listening to our episode with Johnny Pemberton, and just laughing at that Tony guy. Yeah. You know, I was sitting in my car, just peeing my pants. <laughs> We up out of here. We up out of here. <laughs> yeah. He might be my new favorite. I miss him. I want to know what else he's up to, but he locked up his Instagram. Why did he lock reason. it up? <laughs> why did he lock it up? I can't imagine why. But did, did you do something? I, just, I don't know. Like, all we do is showcase people's gifts. What did we do? We just brought him to life. We just let him know that. <laughs> Ha ha! Oh, we out of here. here. We out of here. Suwu. Suwu. <laughs> uh, uh, he was really, it was so interesting how little he was saying in his videos. That's the best part of somebody like him, you know? Yeah, he he doesn't. We're, we're drinking, but you gotta stay. You can't drink and drive. Because if you, you do, gotta. You, gotta, you gotta let someone else drive. <laughs> you gotta then, take your Uvas. Yeah. Then... <laughs> Uh, then you you gotta do that we were just talking about too today how um if there are girls out there that have sex with dumb guys like how the you know the opposite's really apparent in the world yeah where most guys will bang any girl as long as she's hot but yeah the opposite yeah i mean i've known real hardcore skanks that'll bang the dumbest of the dumb now personally i can't do it you know i need some kind of intellect on the guy no yeah, how good looking he is! It's such a turn off. Just for a big a bizang though. But I've never I've never really been that girl. But yeah. even just to like make like to kiss or something. Can't be just a total fucking dud. A total TikTok? No yeah. way! I can't deal with that. Yeah, I don't mind. You don't mind? No, your first uh, your first love was a Dalmatian. Yeah, no, it it bothers people. you after a while though. You know when you start talking to him. <laughs> just that part. Yeah, because at first you're just like, yeah, I'll just shove it in. It doesn't matter. Right. But then. You start realizing that, like, oh, we have to have dinner now, and you know Talk. what I mean. In between the shovings, yeah, you need to make conversation. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I want to fucking kill myself. Yeah, talking to this person. Yeah, and but that your priority is just the shovin at that age. Yeah. So you don't care about the other stuff. At what age do you start to care about what comes out of their head versus? Um, <clears throat> I mean, my dad's seventy three, and I still don't think it matters to him. Yeah, it really changes from man like, to man. Like he didn't. He married someone that probably didn't speak. English. Even. That's great for a lot of guys. Yeah. Yeah. Like an I mean, ideal. I don't know. I mean, it's different from guy to guy. I just, I couldn't do it after, I don't know. I could even do it in my early 20s, really. Like, I could go on a date and like put it in your mouth, but I don't feel like I'm not going to keep calling you if you're a total TikTok, you know? Yeah. So, so like one mouth push. Yeah. One mouth kisses and then. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's unbearable to talk, that was. I mean, I, I went on dates where I was like, "Holy shit, I want to die right now." What was the dumbest girl you ever dated? Um, I went on a date with a, a cashier that I met at Target. Mm -hmm. Not that that's why she's a Dalmatian. Right, of course, it's just where I met her, and I actually asked her for a number. She gave it to me. I picked her up, and she was just like, "What does she look like? Let's look. Let's go through it." Now, first of all, you're at Target, yeah, and she's got on like her red shirt and yeah. what does she look like she's like, what's her deal blonde you like blondes yep Go she's ahead. cute she's hot i don't know she's just oh, good looking good really good tom okay. what do you mean how do you mean is she nice her? to you like do you did you no, feel she's like just chemistry hot. no she's just hot. She, you just didn't you i just was thought, like she's hot i was like put your fucking phone number on there oh stop i did be honest i swear to god that was your game back then i just i'd never done it i remember i'd never done that and, and that was the first it. time you were like i'm gonna try to be that guy she was like Here's your receipt. And I was like, oh, what? I said something like, yeah, why don't you put your number on there too? And she did. 
That's and funny. then I just walked away and I was like, oh, I'm gonna call her, try this. I took her out, I picked her up and I'm in college, she's living at home. So she's like 19 or something yeah. and I'm 21. I come, I go to her house and uh, her dad answers the door. I was like, oh shit. And he, he was, you know, just polite, but like uh, have her home by like midnight or something. I was like, okay. He's like, stick it in her. Yeah, he's like, I know what you're gonna do, but just clean her up isn't, and drop isn't her Isn't that off. gross that dads totally knew, know that you just wanna f- it's gotta finger be the worst. bang. And, and this guy's gotta know that like he made an attractive yeah, dog, like he, he knows. Yeah, everyone wants to pump her. Everyone forages. wants to splooge in my dog. Yeah. yeah. Just That's what his kid. shirt said. His shirt said, everyone wants to splooge in my daughter. <laughs> She's so, just a cum rag for the neighborhood. Totally yeah. And, but anyways, I was like, all right, that's enough time to, you know, a couple shoves, right? So <laughs> I, <laughs> couple shoves. I'm like, all right, let's go to dinner. You and took her dinner? That's really nice of you. Bro. Yeah, of course. That's why you're, you're a sweet guy. Yeah. I take her to dinner. Where do you go? And it's, I don't remember the name of the what place. What city right? is this in? Florida? Is this no, Florida? it's in North Carolina. Okay, okay. So I take her to dinner and it is like pulling fucking teeth it's like mm. you know so what are you like what are you doing right now it's like um i'm working there and then i'm taking this class cool uh <laughs> do you like it it's okay okay um you know what i mean like oh, that and i'm like it's painful. do you i remember saying like do you want to meet up my friends afterwards we can go to this thing i mean if you want to <laughs> okay it was like that. And then I had Terrible. friends meet up, like uh, like Justin and his girlfriend, and then she just like sat at the chair and you know, we would talk and then I'd be like, what do you, I mean, I try to involve her. Like, right. do you think, I mean, would you go to that? And she'd be like, I guess. <laughs> and she wouldn't know to like ask you a question. No. Back. She didn't ask you anything about Nothing. yourself. Nothing. That's tragic. And, and but she also was like, uh, you wouldn't, but you wouldn't think like, oh, she's having a bad time. She was just like, I don't, Almost like she didn't know how to go on a date. Right, maybe and she I didn't was realize shy. That, yeah, she was shy. And I didn't Nervous. realize that when I asked her out, but I realized it a few minutes yeah. into the, like, you know, an hour. And I was like, this is like. Did she seem nervous? A little nervous. Maybe she, she maybe, yeah, maybe she's just super nervous. Like, yeah. you're a total stranger. That's true. You know? But I, I listen, I was, I was totally polite and, and I. You still shoved it in there. Though. I tried to get it in. She really, she was her first time. So it was, it was. <laughs> It was hard, but no, I um no, but did you? So wait, hold on, hold on. So you you go through this kind of. It's not very awkward. Did she eventually yeah. loosen up, or she stays not really. stiff the whole night? You know, she oh. says a few things. I mean, I it's you know, it's a long time ago. She says a few yeah. things, but like, it was obvious that like the idea that we would have easy conversation was it was gone. foreign. Oh my god, it was like it was <laughs> so it was like so I was then, it was like I was talking to someone who didn't speak English like someone who was just kind of yeah. touched and like simple and then did you um, she had great big tits really yeah and did you but try I, to yeah. try to touch them and stuff no you, you didn't even no. try you no. didn't even try to get her drunk or try to touch her stuff dude it was like there's yeah. there's obviously and then I, I remember like her dad had said you know like her home by like midnight or something and I was like you know it's 11 <laughs> and uh yeah, like, you don't live close let's go now like that oh know? dear yeah that's terrible yeah that's terrible she died um, what no, I'm just kidding. I'm oh just my kidding. god <laughs> that would be terrible isn't that sad that i guess some people are just you know not good conversationalists or just that's not true. you know what i found in the world is that there's two types of people there's things people and then there's ideas people and i can talk to both but i prefer to talk to ideas people you know yeah. like the, the broader concepts and then there are people that are just like I bought I bought this new couch and the couch is blue and it's got this thing on it and then tomorrow I'm going to go um, work out and then after we're going to pick up the dogs and we're going to get them washed and then we're going to go yeah, look at real and, and you're like I don't want to talk about your fucking it's so boring to me so yeah it, it, look oh. the thing is that there is someone for everyone so like I mean I sometimes I think I'm like you know that that box of hair that I took out yeah that, and you didn't even jizz in her uh, even a little bit she probably found the perfect match yeah and they were like she went on a date with a guy who was like god mm-hmm. it's great sitting here with you <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> you I don't know. say much and, i know and her I, the thing that made me craziest is when you're <laughs> when you're on a first date especially and you're trying to get to know somebody and you're like so like what kind of music do you like and they're like i don't know <laughs> like, no at least like, have an what, answer whatever what do you like and you're like well i like this yeah that's fine mm. uh, do you like this kind of food I mean, if you want it, it's fine. And you're like, do you like? Do you watch 
movies or something? I don't know. Do you did you do you have Ugh. one? I'm like I, okay, well. I know. Be a person. Yeah. Just have interests. Have something. I feel like there's no greater crime than to be boring yeah. with other people. Yeah. You should at least be interesting. Try at least try to be interesting. God I'd rather damn. you have be, be passionate about something I don't fucking care about. Totally. Yeah. Then be like, I don't know. What, mm-hmm. what do you like? Yeah. What a dud. I heard you bitches was looking for me. <laughs> 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 I love her. You know that there's a, a search for her to find her because she works at McDonald's, yeah. the greatest restaurant of all time. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say, I mean, like, yeah, there's there wasn't a McDonald's on fire. There's a Burger King on fire. Well, McDonald's would never be on fire. Well, I know they probably have faulty wiring. Of course, Burger King. cheap, but efficient. I would I will say this: if if we can find bitch here, I go. I mean, I, I can do it. We can do it. This is mommy power you're discussing. Uh, here. I would be open to having. Bitch, here I go on. Yeah. Are you serious? Because yeah. here's the deal. I watch all of her TikToks, not just those famous ones. Yeah. And I really like her. I really like her. She's about in her 50s. And I feel like TikTok has revitalized her life and given her a little something special Let's, in her day. We should try to make it happen. Because she has a pretty, you know, nine to five life. I think it, guys, you heard it. You heard the guy. Go for her. Let's, let's try. Let's find her. I'm going to message her myself. Now. Oh my gosh, you just really made my Let's day. Try. I'm so stoked to try it. I don't Speaking know. Speaking of, she's called the Queen. They just call her the yeah, Queen. The queen. You might be a TikTok if. <laughs> I can't wait. I have a little turtle. He really likes to pee. He really likes to poop and pee anywhere he goes. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm going to start doing with you. See the smile, the smile, be- and the the shaking of the head. You're shaking your head, but you're smiling, and it betrays that's, the joy that you feel. You felt joy not, when you heard her sing. This is not good. You felt joy. You felt joy. Look at your heart. I know it. If you, you have a pet turtle <laughs> that pees and poops as you slur through your senses, <laughs> you might be a TikTok. <laughs> okay, Tom, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you like this TikTok? Ten being the highest. Uh, I know you like it. Don't I'm, pretend. I'm glad that her tracheotomy healed, but <laughs> oh no, she's just a fucking. She's got her six. retainers in. A six. I mean, come on. Did dude. you like this? The drool guy was your favorite. I have a little turtle. He really likes to pee. He really likes to poop and pee anywhere he goes. Now that's a first for my collection. We haven't had people making up original songs. Usually they okay. lip sync. Okay, when you get so serious neat. about it, it's like. What are you talking about? I'm giving a platform for marginalized performers. I'm providing a service, okay? They don't have outlets to mainstream media and I'm giving them a space. I'm at Walmart and just got done shopping. I'm at Walmart and just got done shopping. I'm in the vehicle now, just got done shopping, okay. Have a great day, everyone. I'll do another video when I get home and show you what I got in the store. Okay, okay can bye. You, can you bye. not add him anymore, please? Bye. Can you please stop you, adding him to the feed? But I thought you like knowing what's going on with him. Don't you like to keep up? Keep up on his life? I like to know what he's doing. You don't like it? No, I'm good. He's making his lunch. He's, a he's nice having guy. his dinner. He's going mean to Walmart. To... Say, I get it. He's eating. He's shopping. Let's. He's got a great life. <laughs> he okay. wants to keep you abreast of his developments. Tom. Okay. Okay. This is Reddish. If I love Reddish, my TikTok family should love Reddish. Reddish. Mm, really good. Tasty. Ah, uh, is this <laughs> the mustard lady? Yeah. So she's she switched it up. Now she's doing relish. It used to just be mustard, and now she goes to relish. Yeah. She's the reddish. Con- <laughs> what is it, reddish? Yeah, she said this is reddish. Reddish. <laughs> That's totally wrong. This is reddish. Reddish. If I love reddish, my TikTok family should love reddish. It is reddish. She said it three times. Yeah. Yeah. This is reddish. This is reddish. 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 She's talking like Bugs Bunny. Red- no, Elmer Fudd. This, there's reddish. no way she's reddish. not severely... <laughs> Under medicated. What are you talking about? Mm, you might be a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you eat mustard for 
headaches and then switch it up and start eating radish <laughs> you might be a tiktok <laughs> do you wear bunny ears while eating your reddish dude that's they're yeah. yellow bunny ears yeah Whew. i like her too i like her work yeah i like her too Whew. this is my cup y'all see my cup jesus drink water off here. it's so hot y'all need one like this and it's heat need a cup like this it's so hot in this hot weather <laughs> what the where did it, where, what's going on with her? Well, here's what I like about this one. <laughs> oh, shit, look at those fucking glasses. <laughs> I, there's three things I like about this. Number one, mm -hmm. the huge tits. Now, there huge. is a huge tit problem on TikTok. <laughs> there's a this lot of huge tits. <laughs> Drink water off this. It's so hot. Y'all need one like this. And it's heat. Right. Need a cup like this. And it's, it's so heat? hot and it's hot. It's weather. hot. And what I like too is the warning. Like it's a PSA. Like, hey, you drink your water. Yeah, you know, it's very important. And thirdly, you, the glasses are pretty the cool. The glasses too. are cool. Mo D would be fucking jealous yes. of those glasses. But those hangers, man, there's a lot of people on TikTok that don't wear bras. Is she one? <laughs> those are. Now, I found another woman on my Insta feed. It's to music, so I can't play it on this <laughs> show. The Did you see the Remember those tits? No, I'm talking about these oh, tits. Oh, there's though. even bigger tits on my feed. On my Reddish. <laughs> Reddish. There, Jesus, she's in my face. Yeah. Oh, my God. Isn't it amazing what's yeah. out there? I yeah. love the world. This is... Uh. You need to get a big water. There's water. You need to stay hydrated. It's hot outside. Uh, who is that? It's hot. Out. I'm just doing it. It's like all the people in my brain from TikTok. It's hot outside. Okay. I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart. Okay. I'm in my Walmart. <laughs> Don't oh. you care about anybody in the world? This is here. What? Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> this guy's smoking crack. <laughs> so yeah. glad it's here. Look at him. I've been wanting to play. I've been wanting to play this for you guys for a while. Bracelet on and hospital pants. Guy's wearing a hospital. He's gonna blow it up his ass. <laughs> he just. What is happening? <laughs> and there's a guy bent over, and he's blowing the smoke. The <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Up his ass. No, that's not what's happening. What's it happening? I think he starts by he takes a crack and he blows it in, and then he does analingus on the guy. Well, yeah, I, I mean, think he's eating his ass. Well, I'm saying the primary goal here was to eat that man's butt. No, it's to get the crack smoke in there. You think so? Yeah. It's just a way of getting high. That's goes a whole right thing. Up the yeah, yeah. We could talk to Drew about it. I'm really excited. I would love to talk to Dr. Drew about yeah, that. Yeah. That is a number one priority. Yeah, you get high faster that way. Is that a cup of urine in the foreground as well? I don't know. It could be orange, orange juice. Hmm. I'm guessing not. I like that his reading glasses are there. <laughs> I know. On the ground That's too. That's not a good place for your reading glasses. That's really, you know. You, could, lose you could stumble over them when you're done blowing smoke up that guy's ass. What is happening? Or maybe he's eating it. I don't know. You know what I've been thinking about a lot lately is that guy we watched with Jeff Tate on the sidewalk and he was um, putting... The bike a, lock? Yeah. 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 In his butthole. Yeah. That was pretty neat too. That's I think about cool. that one a lot. It was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> is it in there? This is amazing though. It's in the Drew folder actually. A homeless oh, it is? guy blowing crack smoke into another gentleman's anus you never i've never even heard of such a thing but that's why you're here to educate me tom that's right <laughs> is it under 511 no it's in the 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 folder that are drops for drew on my image okay drops for no, drew. dr drew's gonna oh, be yeah. really stoked when he sees all these great treats we have for him yeah this is so cool do you think he ever thought that his dude seriously you need to be doing this us? oh boy what are you doing <laughs> What are you doing? Hello? What are you doing? <laughs> Go away, lady. Go away. What are you doing? There's people, there's little kids around here. Seriously. Now, is he masturbating too? I don't think so. Well, he's trying to put that in his ass. But then is he going to masturbate too? Or what's the point? Just it feels putting... good. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying. Everyone tries to come. That's what he's doing. He's trying to come. Right? But I'm saying I don't see him masturbating. I just see him putting. Well, he's got to get butt. it in his ass first. Yeah, you, oh. put, you put the the bike handle in your ass, then you get ready. You know what I mean? It's like you get the lotion, you get the clean it. You got to get ready to go. So he's just prepping. He's prepping. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then he's gonna go for the gusto. Sure. 
This is wild. Everybody has a routine, you know. There's two wild. No, there's three wild videos that stick out in my head. Um, homeless guy gets raped by gay ghost. Yep. Um, this one amputee puts bicycle handle up his butt in the street. Mm -hmm. And then the third is the guy having crack smoke blown in his butt. I wonder. I if never even thought I could. Drew come up with thinks it. that there's uh, drugs involved with this guy. <laughs> That's what I'm most curious about. Definitely not. We'll find out. We'll no. find out. No. Oh, uh, before we forget, <sighs> um, Josh Potter, we revealed or we found out, has really hairy shoulders. Oh my God. We and he He's disgusting. He has agreed. He has agreed <laughs> to to a company. I can go with him, I assume and get him waxed and he said yes he said he'll get waxed i really want I to mean, see this i mean i tell you what we were getting ready we were doing a prep meeting yeah and i looked over and i he's he wears short sleeve shirts even in the dead of winter you know yeah, yeah. and i looked and I, I noticed that the hair was really bushy it's like wolf man shit. yeah going yeah. up to his arm how long has it been like that uh forever yeah My high school life. oh yeah well in high school i used to like nair you did and shave constantly and uh it that whole w old wives tale or whatever, they say it's folklore, it doesn't grow back thicker and longer, it's bullshit. It totally fucking does. No. Do you ever I'm do gonna it sue now? the Nair people. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'll you're... help you. Class action lawsuit. If no. you're out there and you have Nair problems. What are you saying no for? It doesn't grow back, it's just that you're older and hairier. And you no, 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 this has been this way for uh, like 15 years. Can you please show the camera what we're talking about? It is disgusting. <laughs> It is just look at it. It's lush. It's I shampoo it. I mean, I have to tell you, I didn't think I would be so upset as when I saw it. Yeah, I don't know why it would upset you about it. I don't know. I think it's that I um I'm revolted by it, but I'm also like somewhat shocked, and I want it to go away. Also curious and maybe a little turned on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I want you. I want to. I want it to you. go away. Also, but you know what sucks? I've noticed. When I've done uh, like excavations on my hair on my body, shirts feel terrible. Really? Yeah, it's like a weird sensation. Maybe it's just my first time cotton is touching my skin for yeah. real. You know? Yeah, it's a it's a nice. It should feel nice. Mm -mm. But then you also said that arm stubble. Yes, is that's unpleasant. another thing. The yeah, shoulder stubble is a nightmare. The whole thing. And then it's like, do I go all the way to my wrist? Do I wax mm. down to there? Like, how do I? No, I would do say I make go to the fade? elbow because Tom's very hairy too, and like most hairy guys, though, it kind of it tapers right where you have the fullness. The upper bicep is kind of unheard of. So if you did just the arm up until the elbow, and then you can have forearm hair, that's kind of normal for dudes. Yeah. But don't you think my forearm hair would make it look like ridiculous? No, I need to like. Yeah. You need to thin it out. Like you need. Let's to get go. It. I want to see you get waxed. I, I want to be I'll, there, dude. If if you think I'm gonna like cry and stuff, I'm gonna cry tears of joy. Really? Because finally, I'm I will have this burden lifted off. Me. Okay. Yeah. I don't have, you ever keep your shirt on during sex? Probably because you know for fatness, maybe. But mm -hmm. like, I do it for the hair. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I've never. And kept. then you try to. You have to like. Never does keep your shirt. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> you no. have to play up that ruse though when you do because you have to make it seem like the sex is so passionate that you forgot your shirt was even. On. <laughs> so you like? Is that what you do? Yeah. Is that what you do? Yeah, you got it. It's a whole like ordeal. So you, know? you actually are like, you're planning in your head like I'm not taking this off. Yeah. But I'm gonna just act like I'm lost in the moment. Yeah, and be like, if she starts taking off, then it comes off, and I'm like, okay, the lights are off, so like she'll be like, whoa, what's going on? But you know. But you, how often do you keep it on? Whenever I can. Really? Not. It's not often though. Like they, they either take it off or like they say something and then I'm caught in it. I'm like, oh yeah. So uh, I want to. But see... I've never had a girl like women always say like, oh you're hairy or whatever. But they it doesn't. So hairy. It's never stopped them in their tracks. Like me. I mean, I've seen Tom's pretty fucking hairy, but that is like. No, yeah, but like, wait, is your we're, back we're covered? Different levels for is sure. Your, is your back? Covered? I don't know my back situation. It, it's not as bad as my shoulder. Can you stand up? Can I see it? Yeah, I mean, I'll show you. I guess I don't Let know. Let me if I'll see. Be able to... Hmm. I feel like it's gonna be gnarly. I feel like it's not that bad. Let me see. He's lifting his shirt up right yeah. now. Oh my god. Okay, Is it's it? not as bad as uh. I thought. You've like the like it's it's definitely wolfy. Like you on the right side, it's definitely wolfy. 
but it's not bad. It's actually not bad. Right compared to the shoulders. The shoulders are abnormally hairy. Mm. And then the back's like an average amount. It needs I'm to be I'm telling you, it's because of the fact that I never thought shoulder hair was normal. So when I would take care of it, it came back thicker and worse. Yeah, but that's not weird. That's true. I don't know. I've had the opposite experience. I've shaved my whole life. No, no, no. It's a different type of hair, though. Back hair, arm no, hair. No, no, no. You like you have a different coarseness, thickness. There's a. There's well, a he's different... Greek too. He's I a know, hair but machine. I'm saying it. It does grow back thicker. Okay, like... and never that rule for me. It, it's the opposite, actually. My hair grew back finer and more beautiful and Aryan. But that's Whoa. because God of the quality da. of the hair. Because of my Aryan good looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear exactly your opinion of my back, by the way. What do you think? It's not bad. Right. It's actually not. You have what's like I would consider a middle-aged man's hair level. It's totally normal. So it's I guess when the women, they reach back and they're scratching my back, you know, during the sex, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they probably don't feel the hair unless no. they were to grab my shoulder. How often is this happening for you? Sex? Yeah. Lately, it's been pretty good. Really? <laughs> you had a real uh, pound session recently. I did well. Yeah. I told you about my dick pill uh, experiments. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. So, I mean, everyone should get on board. Are you still doing the dick pills? Oh, when I can. Yeah. Yeah. Why not, you know? And you're still no no coming, though. No. Mm. I think it's the hair. You think it's caught up in my hair? I think the hair is clogging your cum pores <laughs> on your shoulders. And I mean. When we wax them, you're just going to bust the What if I come ever. from waxing? That could be a thing. Wow. Is I'll it going to be a I'm hot be girl there. that does it? I don't know. We could look. We could ask, but. I'll try to get a cool guy, but we'll we'll see what happens. What, what are your are your legs out of control? My Is legs your, are pretty bad, yeah. What, I shave my balls and stuff though. What about your um Do you use your manscape? Hell yeah, yeah doggy. You How do. about the um the crack? Like the crack and the hole. I like, get up in there with uh with my uh manscape tool. You too. do? I don't know if that's like sanctioned or not, but I definitely use it for that as well. Would you be open to getting your crack waxed? Fuck yeah. If yeah. I can get it waxed, oh my god, Dude. and then the wipes will be so good, and then I can start getting <laughs> girls to start doing that down there you know yeah get their tongues up in that shit. i yeah. live vicariously through you josh so nasty josh you yeah. are an inspiration to me don't you should get your <sighs> asshole wax and then uh, you can get your never it's never gonna happen i've done the waxing i've done it oh my god I did it's it. still nothing christina nothing. no i'm so afraid of it i'm too afraid to put my tongue on anybody's b-hole honestly like it's there's poo poo comes out of there and yeah, but you don't even poo -poo. know it's a b-hole when you're doing it, you're yeah, like, but, am I even doing the beehole right now? This is crazy. And I then, hear Tom's Browns for the last 15 years. I've heard what it sounds like when it comes out, and it sounds so scary and violent. I'm just afraid of what comes out of there. And the mm. farts all the time, the farts and the sharts and the ugh. I don't know. Sounds like fun to me. It does sound cool. I mean, his D and B is great and clean as a whistle. I'll yeah. Lap <laughs> that up all day. Lap it up. Yeah. But not the scrum. Get in that scrum. All right. Um, let's Any grab. other hair assessments you need? I got some on my knuckles. I got some on my feet. Let's just do a full body wax. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's make you hairless. Oh, my God. Like a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be so And let's do a photo shoot with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I want to get yoked for that. Do it. Photo yeah, shoot. bro. And by that, I mean just thin, thinner than this. How do, you, how do you lose weight? What's your body? I thought you were going to make me take my shirt off, and I was like, not on a fat day. What's the what's your process for losing weight? Do I do? uh, I don't eat for uh, as long as I possibly can stand it, and that's it. <laughs> and I'll do push ups. Push ups <laughs> sounds good. And I walk I'll, I walk every day. How lot. many push ups can you do in one sitting? I can do a lot. You I can, can do like thirty to forty. That's okay, a lot. is yeah. that a lot? Do you think? I mean, for me, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Sure, I'm not a marine. This is really good. Thank you. Sounds good to me. Thank you. No, that's what I do to keep fit. Uh, I'm gonna make a workout video someday, so. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Okay. Um, all right, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back with a guest. Your mom's house will be right back. And joining us now is a dear friend. He's like a son to me. He <laughs> hosts the Honeydew Podcast, which you can watch right here on our YouTube channel every Tuesday at noon. It debuts the Honeydew. With Ryan Sickler, it's Ryan Sickler. Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming back. Oh, dude, it's always a pleasure to be we here. We love you. Uh, You're part of our family. I, I feel it. Definitely. Yeah. You know what I like about coming here, too? This couch feels like you're just in the back of like an old cutlass or something. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. On a Sunday drive, you guys are up front. The windows are down. Nobody's is it buckled in. It is yeah. comfortable. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's, yeah, man. 
It those feels, feels good. Do you remember the uh, even like the idea of seat belts as a kid? Because I remember being just like you just jump in a car and no one even mentioned them. Get in the back, whatever. The do you back remember the station wagons? Do you remember having arguments about not wanting to put it on? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I'm not putting that fucking thing on. Like, oh, what? I remember when the seatbelt law passed here in California in the late 80s, and it was like, oh, God, I have to right. do this now. It was like the biggest ordeal. And people were such, you know, lazy pieces of shit, and then they had that automatic one. Remember, because yeah. if you're not going to do it, we're going to do it for you. Do it for you, you piece of shit. Yeah. I remember, I uh, so I remember taking a, going on a test drive when I was, I was a teenager and my dad was looking at a car. I forget. It was some, some type of sports car, you know, a Camaro or something. Camaro. And the guy, the guy goes, seatbelts right over here. I don't use them. But like he was <laughs> bragged. Like right. he was like, yeah. he's like, I don't know if you're gay, but we don't I mean, <laughs> like, that's how yeah. he said it. And Fucking we were pussy. like, <laughs> yeah. And then we were both like, no, nah. I mean, by that point I was like, I mean, this is a fast car. You probably should. And he was like, ah. I don't like being told what to do. Like, yeah, you know that's what it's all that's about, it right yeah. there. Yeah. Now, I, I um, <laughs> I wonder if you went and test drove a car today, and you said, "Look, I'm telling you, I am going to buy this car. I'm not going to wear the seatbelt during the test drive." If they would fucking let you slide because you said you guarantee you're going to buy it, most would say no. I would think so, but yeah. I, I, there's some out there would be like, like, "Yeah, yeah, fucking, I don't wear mine either." Man. <laughs> yeah, still, yeah, yeah. And if it was like a high ticket car, like if you're like, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Then they'd be yeah, like, like, "Yeah." All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, I'm definitely buying this. They're like, eh, whatever. You can die on your way out of here. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't you have those Uber drivers every now and then who they don't put on their seatbelt and then it dings, 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 yes. dings. No, I've I never had that. that. Oh my God. I get that multiple times. Yeah. And I've also had like the driver that they hire to pick uh, you up at yes. the, for the show. And it's like, you get in the car. It's like, ding, ding. And you're like, <laughs> what is that? Well, that's how I I know what it is, but I'm trying to be like right. less yeah, confrontational. Do, do. Hey, you know what that that noise is, huh? Oh, and they're like, oh, that's bullshit. And you're like, that's how you drive around all day, <laughs> hearing that fucking beep. Ding, it doesn't ding, stop. Ding. That's enough of it a deterrent. Doesn't stop. To so put that's the how on. much of a tune out you have to do, yeah. right? Like you have oh, to be ding, like, ding, ding. Go to a junkyard, get a fucking car just like yours, cut that little <laughs> clip out, put it in there, and then it's done. Wait, what? I'm saying if you go to a junkyard and let you've got your Cherokee or whatever, yeah. you go to a junkyard, you get the same model, you cut the seat, just say I want the seatbelt hook, mm -hmm. and then you just clip it in there, and then it won't beep anymore. All oh. it needs is something to go in there to shut oh, that fucking right. thing You're off. Right. That mechanism, yeah. yeah. Do you ever have something on. Or behind you. Put it behind you and buckle that yeah. shit in and sit. You, you know? put something heavy on the passenger seat in a newer car, and you'll think it's a person without a seatbelt, so it'll start dinging. No. <laughs> Yeah, I like a heavy that. backpack yeah. there. It'll be like ding ding. And you're like, God damn it. You got to move it or put it back a buckle in. Well, now they have a reminder in, in our car where the, it reminds you that there's somebody in the back seat. What? It's like, reminder, look in the back seat. There's somebody there. For parents that can't remember their fucking kids are in the car. That's what I, yeah. I always get insulted a little bit. And I'm like, yeah. fuck you. You look in the For back. For real. I got this. Who do yeah. you tell that to? To the car? To the car. <laughs> I swear to God. In my head, I'm like, you fucking look. Cars I do, do every so time. Much. I know, I know. <laughs> you you I tell the car though, right? You, you fucking look at the car. Put a recorder in <laughs> fucking car. car, huh? I do. I get mad at the car. Don't you call me a bad mom? Like I hear it in my. <laughs> That's exactly what it's doing. It is. It's calling me a bad mom. You a shitty I got parent. This has got to be yeah. a joke in my act. Man. I feel like um, God. I mean, in addition to just getting older and not working out like I used to, I think cars have us less in shape too they do too much do. so yes. my, my stepson's about to get his license 100%. and i was like i think they should move the age to 18 he's like you sound like an old dude i'm like no, yeah but when we sure. were 16 we didn't have to deal with texting we didn't have to deal yeah. with all this technology in this fucking car it's like a <laughs> <laughs> it's f16 a yeah, yeah it's yeah, fucking it's ridiculous yeah. and now too like remember when you used to have to you had to get up look over your shoulder to fucking reverse yeah. like your, your your core was tighter <laughs> your core your core was tight you had to yeah. lean over roll with yes it. Yeah. Yeah. Push it out a little bit to get it up in It's like there. a Pilates yeah. session. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm saying. We're, we're all getting weaker and softer because yeah. of our cars. It does that. You don't even need to move. Just look here. I'm going backwards. <laughs> now I'm going forwards. Like, what? how'd you go backwards, man? Yeah. Or the car beeps when, when you're backing up to let you know if yep. somebody's coming. So now a few times I'll ride in a car that doesn't have it. And then you freaking, you're like, doo -doo -doo -doo. Like, it'll beep. It'll tell me. I yeah. No, it won't. I, no, it won't. Yeah. I backed up a friend's car the other day, and the first thing I did, it's an older car, it doesn't have the camera, and the first thing I did was look here, and I was like, oh, man, remember yeah. this two years ago? Have you had the yeah. auto brake thing? 
in a oh, car. Oh, that's lazy. I had it too. on a rental car, and I didn't know it existed. I was that's coming crazy. down the 405, and I guess that it sensed that the cars were too. And I was like, yes. that's not. And it just, the, the Dude, thing went to the floor and started pulsing. I'm like, I what's that? <laughs> what's that? But I didn't know what was. Well, scared the I shit out of I did it at a stoplight where I had just got in the car, and I looked down and distracted, hit the gas, and the Oof. car stopped itself. Really? Because the car in front of me hadn't moved. I mean, come on. It That's just like disables it? Super TikTok it's proof. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, it didn't let me go. I mean, good. Jeez, yeah. right? Prevented a, uh, for sure prevented a car accident. Like, I would have smashed that guy. Yeah. Well, you know. You know what I don't agree with, though? And this is probably not going to sound right. The blacks can. Mm. Oh, I don't. You go ahead. Can. I don't know what you're going to say. Uh, yeah. I just feel like. I, and talking about back in the day and like not wearing a seatbelt. Yeah, and shit. separate schools and the water. No, oh, no. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where you're going. I'm sorry. I think it's super lame when I see children wearing uh, bicycle helmets and and full fucking regalia, like the padding and stuff, to ride a bicycle. Yeah. I mean, am I just being like too Gen X here? But listen, how many times did you crack your head when you rode a, a bicycle? I never. I fell on bicycle. You I did? never hit my head. Yeah. Really? Yeah, what the I, fuck were you doing? I can't grow bike? hair on my chin right here because I had a huffy, yeah. and banana seed huffy. Banana and seed. Went, was flying down a hill and went to take a left into a, a well, you know, it's funny. We called them courts where I grew up. Yeah, Everybody court. says cul-de-sac, but yeah, we called it a court. court too. Oh. Reaching the court. Yeah. Back of the court. Really? Yeah. yeah. And um, it had rained and there was just that light little right. bit of dirt, you know? Mm. And I took that left and it just went, Poof! I mean, straight down, right on my chin. Yeah, but a helmet wouldn't it protect your chin, would it? I'm no, but I rolled and banged my head, oh, too. Oh, you know? you're a sissy. How about but what you? about like a, do you think like <laughs> no. when you see, if you see a grown ass man. Me. Doesn't listen. He heard you. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. I heard you. I'm saying if a grown ass <laughs> man. Is right is wearing a helmet. You no, see that's kind of lame. As that's fuck. yeah. I I, I right? hate to say they're doing the right thing, but it really fucking. Looks I know, and I know they're doing stupid. the right thing. It looks dorky. Get and some they got Viking like, horns or something yeah. on that motherfucker. <laughs> elbow God, pads and knee, yeah, you know. yeah, that elbow, shit. I mean, no, that shit's uh, that's bullshit. Take a risk. Take a no. Take a yeah. fall. Yes. Learn what that. Learn what it fucking feels like to wreck and get your skin ripped yes. up and shit. That's yeah, get a I'm little saying. dig but gravel out two days later for a kid. Do some shit asphalt that motherfucker. What do you think a kid should go like? What do you think a kid should be wearing? Helmet. For, just just a helmet. helmet. Just a helmet. Yeah. Unless they're skating. Looks, I'm all it, for the, I mean, even back then. Skating more or less? No, I'm saying if you're skating, the kids that are out there on these ramps and shit, that, yeah. I agree with elbow pads. Oh, that's yeah. different. Skateboarding is different. Yeah. That's just but for a bike, a just bicycle. a helmet. Just a helmet. A helmet. Yeah. It feels for kids. Lame. And then at 18, you get to make the decision to be Nerds. an idiot. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, a helmet is or the whatever. smarter thing, but. It looks really lame. But also, yeah. you have to have it on your kids now. I know it's a you law. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a law. Everything's different in a very short space. We're the generation that, that, you know, was experimented with. Like, yeah, maybe we should have seatbelts on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe they should wear helmets Dude, now. I think about it all the time. So, because we live next door to my cousins, and we're three kids in my family, three kids in theirs. And we do everything together. Both families had station wagons. The six of us would pile into the back, the rear door. Right. And then every stoplight, a fucking van would pull up behind <laughs> us. And we'd be like, hi. Yep, and all you had to do is have one of those, bam. And we'd it. be like, six kids dead. Everywhere, all over <laughs> yeah. the fucking highway. Yeah. yeah. Every <laughs> single time. And we would fight for that back. Like, I want to yeah. sit in the back. I want to sit in the most <laughs> dangerous seat. I want to put my there. face up against <laughs> the glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. my brothers would do, they yeah. would give people the finger and they get up oh, alongside yeah. my dad. And they, my dad's like, what the fuck's going on back yeah. there? What are y'all doing back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing. We're not doing anything. This guy's being an asshole. <laughs> Dude, giving people the finger was major fun growing up. When you yeah, learn what that you means, you're like, fuck yeah. We would do it from the bus. So, and, and you yeah. always tell that, like, that nerdy <laughs> new kid, be like, you know what this means? And they'd be like, I don't know. And be like, show it to that guy. And some car would come by like this. <laughs> guy's like, the fuck? <laughs> little kid flicking him off and then be like go like this and you do you know the oh, fucking this yeah, one. Up your done that in yeah. Yeah. The last, let's go with, but mm. then you do this with that Yo, you do yeah, that and then it would always up. be like the, the person double. with the sense of humor though 
behind the bus would be like, oh, you crazy yeah, kids. Love, like, yeah. I yeah. remember my uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My brother, we used to do this one too. We put our, when we got big enough teenagers, you put your arm on the window, you know, hold your, hold the window. Yeah. We would just hold it out like this. My, and they'd be yelling about that. I was like, what the fuck's going on out there? I'm like, it's a lot of asshole drivers Dude, in Maryland. Uh. We went on a field trip. <laughs> All incognito yeah. and shit. <laughs> Why is everybody always mad when they pass our car? Like, I don't know what's matter with everybody. <laughs> hate this color, man. When we, it's the wood panel. The wood paneling. <laughs> when we went on a field trip once in uh, Milwaukee, yeah. and we went we went downtown, and we're at a stoplight, and this is like winter in Milwaukee, and there's this, look like maybe like a 19 to 20 year old black dude, skinny black dude, stand at the corner, and we're all like sitting at the windows. We're in like <laughs> sixth grade. We're like, hey. and he just pulls his pants down, <laughs> takes his dick, and wags it at us all. <laughs> just shook it like that. <laughs> Like you had some extra drops in yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. And we were all like. <gasps> <laughs> and then the bus takes off. And we were like, teacher. <laughs> Miss Harlan. Like, it was the craziest. I mean, it was yeah. definitely it was still one of the biggest dicks I've ever seen. Right. I'll yeah. bet. I'll yeah. bet. He knew it, too. He, he knew what he had. It's going to be decades. He's like, oh, this kid's going to Look at that. Oh, shit right here. <laughs> Homeless people love to show Sue you. Sue Wolf! And he waves his dick at <laughs> When I was in the bus as, as a little girl, I used to see guys jerking off on the freeway a lot. God. Yeah. Like showing it to you or just doing just it and you're pulling up on alongside? I, I'm not or a sure. little bit of both, man. Maybe a little bit of both. But yeah, you just see guys jerking their dicks in traffic on the 405. Everywhere. My brother mm. uh, drives a tractor trailer once in a while, and he told me, he's like, it's nonstop. Chicks <laughs> want to just pull their tits out. He's like, you, sh- you He's like, you wouldn't believe the shit you see from sitting up that high on the roads out there. Your, your tractor trailer drivers will, will tell you. Really? I, I want to, it just made me think of this. I want to tell you something funny about a school bus. So um, we, you know, we lived in Maryland, and every year, up through uh, middle school, you had to go to DC for a field trip. Mm-hmm. And one year, my dad is the chaperone on my younger brother's uh, class, and they go to DC. You know, you're going all the monument, all this yeah, stuff yeah down real there. snooze fest. And um, <laughs> so on the way back, so when they get home, my dad just looking at me, comes in the door, and he's laughing. And I was like, "Was it a rough day?" He goes, "It was a really embarrassing day for one kid in my group." And I was like, "Oh, what happened?" He goes, "Ryan, I feel so bad." For kid he said that it's like four buses in a caravan you know what i mean they're all trying yeah. to stick together the best they can on on 495 where we got stuck driving right that the shit worst so now you know that traffic right yeah this poor kid had the shit and <laughs> they couldn't go anywhere and he's like i have to go now so that all four buses pull over on the side <laughs> of the road with their flashes on this kid walks up in the hill where there's like some trees and yeah shit. <laughs> In front of the whole fucking like sixth yeah. grade. In front of the yeah. whole sixth yeah. grade. My dad's watching him like, he shit. I was yeah. like, he yeah. shit in front. He's like, Ryan, everyone's going to remember that forever. He's in never going to shake that. Whole the rest fucking of his sixth no, here's what, You got to transfer schools. You yeah. have to. Because all those kids are like, look at, look at Larry shitting up there. <laughs> yeah. Look out. You got yeah. corn in there, Larry. And then his nickname for sixth, seventh, yes. eighth grade through high school, it's all going to be like a sh- mud butt, yep. and shit stain. Yeah. All, yep. yeah. Shit stain is yeah. exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. And that's, it'll, you'll never never shake it you gotta transfer why'd you transfer I, my dad got a new job <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't tell them let me tell you one horrible. time i never did a, i only did one road rules real world challenge and it was in jamaica and i'll never forget this you were like, on that i did one battle of the sexes you did one it was i didn't horrible. even know you were on road rules oh stop it who won oh stop it what sex won theo von no so <laughs> i forget who won but anyways um so it's like the first week. So we're all there. No one's been voted off yet. It's the beginning. People are sniffing each other out, boys and girls, right? And I'll never forget, one of the girls had violent diarrhea. It was in Jamaica. And we were on the bus going to like a challenge or whatever. And it was so I was so embarrassed for her. She did the same thing. Pull over, pull over. The bus stops on the side of the road in Jamaica. She gets out and like diarrhea is behind a rock. And I mean, we're like in our 20s. And that's the shit, you know what I mean? We're all trying to get yeah. laid and have fun or whatever. Yeah. And like, that's the diarrhea girl for like yeah. the whole trip, too. You're like, oh, it's so mortifying. The only guy fucking her is the guy who couldn't get laid from anything. Like, right. He's like, I'll yeah. fuck you. I know he's you're like, I'm still going to hit that. Yeah, I know yeah. you got, you got a lot but of She was pretty problems. crunchy. She didn't shave her armpits. Ooh. Like, she was pretty crunchy, anyways. You ever get a girl like that? Like, with a surprise? Like, I don't shave my legs. I don't shave my armpits. I don't, you know. Mm-mm. Never. I got a dick. No. Like that, <laughs> my friend, my watch, well, I, I don't, 
maybe I shouldn't say his name, but we t- I told you that story. We had to call him on speakerphone, remember? Oh, yeah. This is nuts. Can I tell Christina? Yeah, of course. I won't, the say, I won't say his name. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he um, he lives in Baltimore, and he went out one night drinking at the bar. This is a while ago. And uh, he met this girl, and you know they hit it off. Things get a little hot and heavy. They go back to his place. And they're hooking up, and just as he's about to put his hand down her pants, she, like, aggressively grabs his wrist. And she's like, I'm different. And he's like, what do you mean you're different? She's like, I'm different. He's like, are you a guy? And she's like, no, I'm just different. As if, you know, go ahead, go find out for yourself. And he puts his hand down her pants, and he starts playing with her a little bit, and he realizes that her vagina has, it's it's forked. It has like equivalent to like your your nose. It has a piece of skin in the middle. So there's two sides Aww. to it. No, and it's great. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. So I'm telling him about it. We're like, I got to call him because I want to know. I have a million questions. You know, did it hurt? What did you, and I was, we were like, did you have to pick a side? He's like, yeah, I had to pick a side. Wait a minute. It's forked, meaning has, all the meat and cheese is on. No, it's there's, too, there's two holes. There's two there's holes. There's a barrier it's in it. It's divided. But it's got wow. like your nose. Wow. Uh, like. So You're, you can pick an entry, yeah, and yeah. it goes into the same vaginal canal. It I'm does. Assuming. I mean, I'm, we yeah. didn't we didn't get into the specifics what? of where it goes. So but did she have like a hymen, maybe that was something still that, that yeah something so, that grew in there? So then we wow. were like, uh, so which way? Like, how did you guys do it? He goes every fucking way possible. <laughs> <laughs> it was like having a new girl every time. <laughs> yeah, he could just go. He could go like left, right, left, right, and fuck different holes. All right. I, and to this day, I've never heard that before. I've never heard no. of that And either. since. And since. Wow. Yeah. He said he wore it out, though. Yeah. Yeah. Just side to side cool. pussy, you know? Cool, that foot, guys. You hit that pussy front to back, but that's just side to side, Thanks. girl, left to right. Do you think we could have another lady on the show sometime? It's nice when we have women <laughs> on the show. Remember when Sarah Gamble was here? That was great. That was fun. Nicole Amanda was here Cerny, last week. Nicole Byers. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, you guys are savages, man. Fucking. Both I'm just sides. reporting back. Just reporting yeah, back. That's just a story. I'm just telling. He's, he's just a journalist. I didn't do that. I'm yeah. sure. I mean, I wonder. If, well, anyway, Sometimes he would bust in one hole and it would all come out the other. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, Your mind came right back to me. Ugh. Uh, your brain is diseased, Tom. I'm trying to think of the weirdest thing I've seen out there in the vagina world. Just in the in the in the dating or sexual world, mm. there's weird shit. I mean, I've yeah, you've had some weird shit happen. I'm sure I have right? had some weird shit happen. What's the freakiest shit you've had happen with it? Like someone you didn't know and you start hooking up with, like a brand new person that had yeah. no history or anything. <sighs> there was one girl one night. I met her. She was uh, this is God a long time ago. She was my waitress. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's a tough call on waitresses because yeah. they flirt, right. Right, rightfully it's so. Job, yeah, right. it's their yeah. job to flirt. So, Try to you get know. a tip. And yeah, yeah. yeah, but we're not in fucking Hooters. You know right. what I'm saying? We're in a nice restaurant. I like Hooters. <laughs> I love Hooters. I go every day for lunch. They've got the best wings. I love when they keep the elbow on. And the girls there are nice to me. They like me. Well, they like they like it because they come up and they write their name on the <laughs> yeah, and then they yeah. put their real name. Their real name. Yeah. yeah, I'm Kara Hart. <laughs> well, she fucking likes assholes. Me. Um, but this girl's God. flirty, and then she puts her number on the right, like a Hooters check, girl. Yeah, right. Oh, she puts a her she, number. Uh huh. Yeah. She put her number on it. So I I call her and we you know hang out a couple of days later, and one thing leads to another, and um. She starts telling me that she's on like uh, she's coming off of Lexapro oh, yeah. and that if you don't do it properly, I guess you're supposed to wean yourself off. Wait, sure. she went cold turkey. Is this oh, conversation no. one? This she is got, this is like, like, yeah, what's up beyond uh, do you want fucking cheese on that? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And uh, I'm coming off Lex, yeah. right? Thanks for calling <laughs> right away. <laughs> yeah. And she's giving me a heads up that she's experiencing these like zzz, these little electrical impulses. She's telling me and. As the night's going on, I'm seeing her do this, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Wow. So, um, <laughs> you know, we end up having sex anyway, of course, and uh, she takes a hit of weed, and I was like, go easy on that. I just cleaned that pipe today. She fucking hits it like it's the last hit on earth, and then she starts throwing up. So, you know, as a single guy, you got to wait all this out. 
Yeah. You know, like, I don't even know what's going to happen. And she comes out of the bathroom. She's mad because I was laughing. I was like, I told you not to hit. I don't, you know, it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. But she's puking and everything. She's like, it's not funny. And then she comes out and, you know, hour or so goes by. She's back to whatever herself was before that, I guess. And then she wants to have sex. So we start having sex. This is, now wait, just for the story. Is this the first time you're having sex? Or yeah. The second? Okay. The, so this is the first time. You're first sex. time outside. The I didn't dinner. know if you'd had sex before the thing. It's my okay. first time. All right. It's the only time this has ever happened to me, too. I don't know what it was, but when she got on top, she got off on putting her forehead on my forehead. But I mean, <laughs> to the point where it was crushing my fucking skull. Like, oh, like nothing. Down. Oh, hard. And she was saying the filthiest shit. Like a battle ram. But like putting it. And I was like, ha. Ah! And I couldn't enjoy what she was saying. She was saying some dirty shit that I would have normal circumstances. I'd have been like, fuck yeah. And all I could think about was the feeling of my skull getting crushed. And she just kept driving like, like fucking hard. She's like, fuck this fucking pussy. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my head out, but I can't. She's I cannot you. turn. She's pinned you down. Completely pinned down. Push so hard. I can't like, <laughs> like, I feel like if I rip my head as hard, it's going to rip skin off my fucking <laughs> forehead and skull will be exposed i'm not even exaggerating that's how hard it was my eyes started to water and oh then but then as a dude your ego's getting to you like i cannot let this fucking chick yeah you know overpower me like this but this chick overpowered the f i was nothing she kept pressing down she was saying all kinds of nasty shit and i was just like please i'm trying to say please stop yeah you know and she's yeah. thinking i'm begging for more i'm just going please. Like I hadn't, you know, like I hadn't had sex in like three years and I was so excited. But I was like, and finally she, she just, I felt her let up just a little bit. Like, you know, when a snake goes yeah. to readjust yeah. and I slid it out real quick and I was like, what the fuck? Oh God, it hurt, man. I had a, did she I, tell you what she was doing or did that's she, what her thing was. She was, what? she was into like fucking just like, yeah, I'm, we're going skull to skull. And that was her thing. That was, I've that's never, what, ever, ever heard of something so ever. peculiar in my entire life. And I've ever. never wanted to meet somebody more. I like know. that is. <laughs> such a fascinating yeah. thing i've never wow. heard of that yeah wow she that was just, that was her one. thing just crushing did you ever hook up again no that was it dude those are one and done Imagine i mean that. i wasn't even one it was i was halfway in and nothing dude, even i was like how great like would it go. be to have like an aa type of meeting of just guys she's been with and you guys just sit around and you're like she fucking almost took my head off my like, just, oh. <laughs> i was losing vision I was, I was losing vision. I saw the circle and everything. I was like, this isn't worth it. So she was this really doing worth it. that. My man. dick's like, sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she should Christ. have cleared that with you beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's so. that's yeah. kind of well, That's a... probably part of the thrill. Like, you don't know what's about to happen to you right no. now. When I pin you down with my head. Dude, that was, that, uh, absurd. that was aggressive. That was really aggressive. Yeah. Remember that? Was there somebody that drank menstrual blood? Ew. Yeah, this was so What? Good. So I hung out with this yeah. couple. You know what? Hold on a second. Yeah. You say <laughs> shit about guys, and you just said someone drank menstrual blood. You said it too, like, wasn't it? Yeah. Am I making that up? Did I hear? It's true. I, Isn't that, that the Johnson family? Blood? Yeah. This couple yeah. Yeah, came yeah. to my show in Atlantic City. This was like, man, at least eight years ago. Okay. And I'm working the club and they're hanging out. They come to the show and they're just like, they're like early forties, but you can tell like they're cool. They party. And they're also like both good looking. Like they, you're like, you don't belong here. You know what I mean? Like when they're stand out from everybody in the audience, they just like put together. And so they asked to buy me a drink and I'm having a drink and they're just, they're fun and they're telling stories. So I'm like, so what's your guys deal? Well, they're about to get married. Um, they're, and it's the second marriage for both. And I'm like, oh, so what happened before? They're telling me their whole backstory. And I'm like, and you could tell that they're so open and not like, there's no jealousy about like, oh, when this happened and when that happened. So I'm like, when you guys were after your marriages, but before you met each other, what's like some of the, you know, more, since you were like single for the first time, what were some of your dating stories? So they start sharing them. She tells some story about, um, I don't know, some guy she met and he, you know, was some type of crazy sex, I don't know, like anal sex on the first night. She was like, that was wild. It's the only time I ever did that. She goes, he's got a better one. So I'm like, what, what is it? And he goes, well, so, you know, I'm kind of, I've been divorced for like, let's say six months. I start going out and I, I go out with this beautiful, um, 
very sophisticated and successful doctor. And, you know, we're going out, we're, we have good chemistry. And so like the first time we're about to have sex, she tells me, oh, um, I'm, I'm having my period right now. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm like 44 years, you know what I mean? Like I'm a grown man. I'm not, it's not children's shit to me, right? Like, yeah, one, it's one thing to have sex on your yeah. period. So he's like, he's like she, she's like self-conscious about it. He's like, doesn't bother me at all. So they have sex and he's like, you know, it's, it's fine, it's good. And then um, when, when we're done having sex, he's like, you know, obviously I have like stuff kind of all over me. She's like, do you mind if I clean up? And he's like, no. And then she just goes down and licks it all up off Wait, of him. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. That is not. <laughs> so he said he's laying there. He's like, I'm expecting here to squeak to the shower, turn no. on and shit. So she cleans <laughs> herself off him. Yes. She l- with her mouth. Licks. Licks it all up. And then she's like, what do you think of that? <laughs> and he's like, that's pretty wild. And. Anyways, they start going out, you know, like he's dating now. Yes. After that, after that, he's <laughs> dating her. He's dating her a month later. <laughs> well, that's the thing. He's bringing her to dinners and, uh, you know, like Ugh, social events and like all cat. of his friends and everybody's like, yo, you hit the fucking home run because they see she's beautiful. She's a doctor. She's very successful. He, and like, so everyone's like, this is your fucking next wife. And he's like a month later. <laughs> It's period time again. They have sex, and she doesn't even ask this time. She's like, oh, 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 oh it all up God, again. I'm going to get sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get sick, dude. And, Ooh, I got uh, that fucking metallic taste in my mouth right now. He said Whoa. that, like, every, so, all, because, you know, he's in his 40s. All his friends. How have old is she? The, the woman, like, I don't know, probably a few years younger than him. But he said that when he broke, he's like, I break up with her. And everyone's like, you're a fucking moron because they, you know, they've been his friends for years and he's, they're like, she was gorgeous. She's a doctor. She's got money. Like she's successful. What are you doing? And then he starts telling his friends and they're all like, what? Yeah, <laughs> like of they, course. They can't put it together. And they're like, oh, okay. I, I well, see. You know, what's interesting is hearing that story now as an adult. Cause I yeah. think you told this to me maybe a decade ago. Long time ago. Yeah. And like, now I see it from that guy's perspective of he's in his 40s. He may not find another woman like her again. If mm-hmm. she's all these other things, is licking your own menstrual blood off of somebody's penis that bad? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. A hundred percent it's that bad. But, but th- if that's her one kink, that's the thing that just revs her up is to lick her own menstrual blood off your penis. Once a month you can't accommodate that you don't have to do anything what kind that's of, do- what kind of doctor thing. is she what kind of doctor uh, she was like brain, an ear nose surgeon. and throat oh that's, that's, that's god damn you know come on brain surgeon you can fucking lick it up yeah e- ent get the fuck out of here that that's <laughs> you're, you barely you're not you're a chiropractor <laughs> yeah you're not yeah. even she's a nurse practitioner i'm not officially certified yet yeah um no. that's it's fucking it's an important question. <laughs> sorry do you ever worry that you... sorry <laughs> play it again though i always can watch this uh, let me see if show this... show ryan this i one. did think no, of no, the no, freak won't issue. it won't work i'll work. play it if you want okay okay it. okay never mind I, I i'm gonna, gonna tell you a story about a girl that i did not have sex with because of of this story that's really this is a girl that i knew she was a friend of a friend so i had hung out over the time, over a few years, you know, handful of times with her. So I, I, I knew her, but I didn't know her. You never really know anybody like that. But uh, she came over one night, and we start drinking. She wanted to drink some wine. We're drinking, having a good time, and um, she starts telling me that her history of of you know how old she was. How old were you when you lost your virginity and that sort of thing? And she's like, I was really late. And I was like, you know, why was that? And she's like, well. Let me take a sip first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, she was a late blossomer, bloomer, whatever, and and what happened was she ended up liking her cousin's boyfriend, and her cousin was mean to the boyfriend, and she herself also had an abusive boyfriend at the time. And those two just sort of connected based off that behavior. They were like, "Oh, we'll rescue each other," I guess, so to speak. So they begin to have this relationship and he was a photographer and um, 
he one night started asking her if she would do some, you know, pose for him so he could take some pictures. So she did. And that eventually led to nude photos. And she did, their boyfriend and girlfriend. But artistic, you know, not here's my fucking pussy hole, you know, that kind of <laughs> shit. And um <laughs> Then he says, uh, "Here's my fucking pussy hole." Yeah, Ryan just said. And then he says, <laughs> an "Animal." He says, well, "I'm an animal." Have you Jeez. seen the pictures on fucking line? So um, then he says he wants to do some photos of her in a tub. So they do the tub. Then it progresses to, "I want to put um, blood in the tub." I want to do photos as if you're dead, murdered in the tub. Um, and she does that. And at the time, too, this is the guy she loses. This is the guy she also loses her virginity it's gonna to. It's going to go bad. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. they're sexually active. Uh -huh. And this is the buildup. You know, you don't really know somebody. Right. So. Um, Just like you kind of like you're cut open and, you know, like your guts are out. Filled. So she's thinking that this is, you know a substance uh, you know whatever it is yeah but it's real fucking blood <gasps> and she's like wait where are you where'd you get real so you went to butcher some bullshit or knew somebody got this animal blood right Aye. the next time he wants to do it and this is have sex with her but he also wants a photograph first he puts her in the tub of ice and tells her the reason is because he can't get off Unless he fucks a cold vagina. Oh boy, here yep. we go. That's it. And she's like, "What? He has to have a." I, she's like, and then she looks at me and goes, "Do you think he had sex with that body?" And I was like, "Yes, yes he definitely had sex." Yeah. Guess who's not having sex in here tonight? <laughs> Guess who's not having? Here, let me crack another bottle of wine because that shit's not going down. Uh. Like fuck that. And then I started thinking, <laughs> like, God. <laughs> the partners we've had in the past could have potentially had a partner to fuck dead people. Oh, yeah. Or animal. Oh, man. Or yeah. something like this shit up here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but a real one. Dude, have you ever in your <laughs> life, I can't get off unless I'm inside a cold vagina? Never no. heard of it. Have you ever even thought about regulating the person you're with body temperature? No. Either way. I love <laughs> Either way. I love 98.6. That 98.6 is perfect, perfect bro. 98.6 uh, yeah. is my speed. Any colder or hotter. <laughs> that's crazy. How crazy and is that, And that's definitely dude? how he knows he likes cold. Fuck yeah. 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 But yeah. you can only get off on that. You can't even get off on. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, you're all alive and shit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> can we go fucking hang out at the meat freezer for a little bit? And I'll fuck you real quick in there. Like, what the nice. going quick? That's, that's the weirdest, craziest, <laughs> the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, this is Abe's Grease with an important question. Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? Uh, I do. I do, though. <laughs> And no one wants to tell him. It's crazy with an important question. Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? <laughs> That's probably the best thing I've seen in a yeah. long time. I mean, honestly, <laughs> that is it is such a legit question for every person on I this know. fucking planet. <laughs> Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? Oh, oh God. Man. Now, there's something you about that. My stomach hurts from that. Because you're right, right? We... <laughs> That is the Everybody's most appropriate worried. question I've heard in such a long <laughs> fucking time. No one is telling you. No one's telling you. But maybe because they're retarded, <laughs> you know? My God. Do you Tom, think, though... Am I retarded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to puke. Am I? Um, am I retarded? No, you're fine. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> well, let's do a retarded check. You're a little bit. Sue <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> they're gonna come after you ever, us, dude. Is that we your, gotta stop is that your TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Do you ever worry you're retarded? And no one is telling you. By the way, she has a very She's great. God, I, I love that girl. Have you been to her page? No, but I'm gonna. She's gonna be my first because order of business. Because there's also home. like this kind of terrifying quality to her. Yeah. That like. If you told me, do you know that right after this video, <laughs> she killed a few people? Like, <coughs> right, the look in the eyes, the no, shaved she's, head. She's great. Listen, of all the TikToks, of all it, besides, I heard you bitches looking for me. Bitch, here I go. This is, has to be like top, you don't think there's top any three chance TikTok. She's, she's mentally ill? 
No, I well, think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm saying I, I follow what I consider to be normal or whatever people on Instagram. This girl's more normal than anybody I've seen Thank and asking the best questions out there. Thank question you. Is she's oh, the fucking smart one. Thank you. She I is. agree. You don't see I agree. any problems behind those eyes. None? <laughs> Looks totally None. fine to me. Really? Mm -hmm. This is Abe Screech with an important question. <laughs> Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? It's an important question. She's right. Okay. Stop it. Take it down. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. The phrasing, too, is do you ever worry? Wor it's you're a worry. Retarded. It's a worry. And nobody's telling you. And then she's like, you're right. But you are. You are. It's Stop worrying. Yeah. <laughs> the worry's over. You are, motherfucker. <laughs> And the timing and the music Did you and see that everything clip? It's brilliant. Did you see that She's clip of um, Alex Jones on Rogan? Uh, yeah, it was like a big, big yes. thing where he returned to the show after years, and they were fighting, and mm. and then he's like telling them this, like he's having a real moment. He's like, I, I gotta tell you something real quick. And Joe's like, well, he's like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of retarded. Yeah, I have seen it. <laughs> and then he I've fucking seen it. Joe falls there out of his chair. So <laughs> so silly, but it made me laugh. So Look, much. here's the time. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> but again, he's right. Look, look serious he is, he means he's, it. But he's been worried up until now. I, I'm kind of retarded. And no one's told him. Nobody's told him. And then Joe falls out of his seat, right? Isn't that <laughs> In that... <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing That's ever. That's the best. All right. <sighs> Alex Jones, kind of retarded, is the yeah. subject. Oh, yeah. That's the, the, the title. title. Yeah. God, isn't this great? Oh, my God. Please play this. Have you seen this? I commented on this yesterday. <laughs> you did? I did on Passenger Shame. So, for account. people, uh, for people listening, Christ. This was published um, by, what's her name there? Alice. What is it? Uh, Alifair, Alifair Burke. On her Twitter, yeah. And then it was <laughs> shared so many times. And, and Passenger Shaming posted it also on the uh, the best Instagram account. Oh, my God. Uh, this, per, oh a person who knows Alifair Burke sent the message. She is on a flight. <laughs> and there's a person in first class in the front row, the bulkhead <laughs> seat, happening? as they say in the industry, <laughs> who's swiping Ugh. through the... The uh, the video choices uh, with their bare foot. Oh. The only oh. thing that would make this better, if there was a video of somebody that walked up and goes, listen to me, you piece of shit, and then they didn't have arms, you'd be like, my fuck, I'm so sorry. I am so fucking sorry. There's, you know what this reminds She's me of? She's got arms. There's uh, probably no way. You think it's a woman? Sorry. Yes, it's a woman. Is it? The See, feet, I figure a man the... would be really? the only Really? I thought that was a man. I did too. Oh, really? I, I thought it was. I thought it was a woman's I'd feet. give women more class than that, but that I might be wrong. So I thought that was a nasty. man. nasty. And then people touch that with their yes. fingers after, and your then you're touching your touch mouth. Your kids touch your mouth, eating the food. I said on uh, there, this, this motherfucker's got their planner's warts all up on that goddamn screen. This is why I get sick. Somebody said, well... Hands uh, generally carry more no. germs than your feet. They do, because you use them more. Not this fucking person's. This yeah. person's feet oh. carry more germs than right. their hands. Look right. at that. This is so crazy. And it's also pretty fucking impressive. There is a... It's a little impressive. It's old, yes. so like, it'd be so hard to pull up. But ye like five years ago, maybe more, Kumail Nanjiani was on a flight, and he posted a thread. This might have been three years ago. And the thread was of a guy sitting like across the aisle from him on a flight who took his pants off and in the bulkhead put in his boxers put his feet up on the wall in his boxers and watched a movie like he was at home no and it was in oh that is that that's oh yeah god, is that that's it? it yes oh my god yeah it, it was it's insane his oh pants are off. my god and, and he said the guy was barking at people and, and the flight attendant had to be like can you at least put your legs down since you're in your boxers? There's people walking up here. And the guy's like, God damn it. Like making a big, oh, that is a psycho. Like a that really is psycho. a psycho right there. You can't there. kick yeah. him off. I guess it's, once it's in the air, it's too late. Huh? Dude, it, it's, it was, I remember being that. on Twitter oh and reading God. his thread. Baby, he's wearing white dad socks. Look how yep. he's Long sitting. dad socks. I mean, his, <laughs> like, his fucking shit. He's got, is, is that his, his hand plan, on his bro. belly? Like, he's super comfortable. Oh, yeah. And then he said, like, you know, when they finally talked to him, like, hours into this flight, 
he stands in the aisle, puts his pants on in the aisle, <laughs> took them off in the aisle. It's like, it's really nuts, man. Really crazy, right? Because it. What's the, the 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 next the one with the the writing? No, no, right next to that. After four hours of flight, can you please put your feet down? People are walking through here. 40, <laughs> 40 seconds, seconds stared out. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. Holy shit. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> I remember reading that. It was just never seen anything like it. What is wrong? I mean, I just Oh, yeah, can't this was on a flight, too. Have you I seen this? I cannot fathom this. This is also, this happened... Ugh. on uh, a flight and this was sent in this is this is actually kind of cute though this little kid look at this little kid oh good for you kid it's a light it's a light it's a light Good for him. Good look. <laughs> yes. That's the thing about a little kid, though. Good a little kid him. will not be like, excuse me. He's like, get your feet off yep. from behind That's me. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Good for him. I would yeah. hope my kids do the same thing. No, that, yeah, kid, that kid gets disgusting. a treat after that That's flight, right. You know? Sticker. Yep. And a You're dinosaur. Right. People just use whatever the fuck they want, how they want. I, I remember being at, a, at the gym one time, and uh, you know they got the hair dryer up a little higher, mm -hmm. which I always thought was a hand dryer. And then they got one a little lower that I thought was for kids or little people, you know, dry your hands. But this fucking dude that was in there, he felt like it was for drying out his foreskin. And he no. he stood under it and <laughs> peeled his fucking foreskin down no. yep, and fucking dried no. around the tip of his dick. Everyone standing. They had to put a sign up that said hand dryers are for hands only. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they had to the do, just to drying the tip of his dick out on the fucking thing. You know, I went to that gym in the, the South Bay when we yeah. used to live down there. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of old dudes. It's always old. They dudes. would use, I'm not kidding, one dude I, I watched walk up to it, spread his cheeks, and dried his ass. <laughs> <out of it. laughs> and then. <laughs> Why do you need to dry your ass? I don't know. He was like, that's what this packs. is for. And then face forward and have it dry his pubes and his dick and balls. He just stood right in front of it and talked to people. Hey, Chuck, you want to go hit the links on Saturday? You just. Full conversation, hair dryer drying his ass and his balls. Didn't even blink. Talking to people. Yeah. What's up, Kenny? Ball bag's almost dry, man. Get out there to top golf. Get my taint, my taint a little moist right now. Dude, man. spreading, spreading, spreading his it. Cheeks. That is so holding his cheeks open. <laughs> Just all kinds of germs, hot yeah. air in his asshole. <laughs> Blowing it around the whole locker room. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you need that kid to be like, the fuck are you doing? Yes. <laughs> you know what? That's what we should hire. A bunch of little kids that don't yes. have filters instead of security guards and walk in and just yes. start humiliating these adults. Yeah. I yeah. agree. That's what we need. A fucking what are you doing? kid force. Why does that little child know that that's inappropriate? Right. Does the, how come are you going to spread your asshole like that in front of his hair dryer? <laughs> Do you have kids? Like, oh, man. You make me rethink shit. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Do you ever wonder? If <laughs> <laughs> she needs to pop up. Uh, Do you ever wonder if you're retarded? No, <laughs> it's still here. It's too much. I'm going to throw Do you out. ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? What's the other TikToks underneath that one? I'm sure Ryan would like to see them. Do you ever worry? Do you ever worry? It keeps you up at night. <laughs> oh, I don't Do you know like about that. this lane? I don't like him. Mm -hmm. as There's a whole lane. I don't even know. I, I only reason I know, first of all, what TikTok is because you thank engage you. in it. If, I, thank you. I know what it. I really we, don't know what it is. Spreading the gospel. If we had shares in the company, we would have made some money. I'm yeah. sure a lot of people have found out about this bullshit thanks to Christina. What is it like is it a Vine type thing? Kind what of, is it? Kind of. Yes. Yeah, so there's there's short videos and people can usually lip sync music like right. songs or parts from movies that they want to read a lot of lip syncing was like the origin that's the origin or dances and that's kind of why i got on there because i was like oh i want to know what's cool because i'm housebound most of the time but then i went down this cool rabbit hole of different areas yeah, it looks cool <laughs> it's so not cool but <laughs> So this this is a lane. There's a lane called. He's not gonna like. What's this. a lane? Like there's like, a channel. What no, is no, it? a lane meaning like a thread. Like let's say okay. one lane is is uh, lip syncing music. That's I a see. lane of TikToks. That's what they call them lanes. Well, like you like. So I will for a instance. Certain, 
a uh, niche a genre niche, like within a, like, yes, the community. category. So, for instance, I will like people talking about cheeseburgers, and then all of a oh, sudden, oh, you can just like that, and then it'll start and then my your algorithm will pick it up. Will chip, yeah, gotcha. change. So, so this is a a daddy's yeah, and littles, which is like it's adults playing like there's a parent oh and a child, okay. and this guy plays to the little so he's like i'm i'm the father figure like uh were you misbehaving today so he's talking to us as if we're the child yes. right now got yes it. that's his whole that's his whole feed and hey princess you got the popcorn <laughs> that's good because i got the movies oh come let's on. do this see but he thought it was funny but right? the whole uh, feed is like that though yeah i think it's funny because the absurdity and the fact <laughs> that you guys are bringing it up yeah. here but if okay. i saw that i would say you're you ain't allowed to go near that fucking house of course my kids don't even, don't even walk by it. <laughs> wait a minute oh it's okay. two more miles oh, yeah. to get to school walk the other fucking way yeah go to the next one go to the... hey yo <laughs> remy needs your help that's my babysitter <laughs> in a bad way i've tried tom's i've tried baking soda and hot water what gets rid of heart burn? I feel like I'm going to die. Can somebody please help me out? Thank you. She looks like she's going to die, too. I feel like I'm going to die. Let me get on this device in my hand and ask a bunch of fucking idiots what they think I should fucking do. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, no, just keep going down this and then... Uh, this is a good, yeah. This. My nanner, my nanner, my nanner. And Tarani. <laughs> what? Is that? Burnt Tarani. chocolate chip cookies and scrambled yeah. eggs? What is that? Okay, um, talk to you later. I'm going to eat it now. Okay, bye. That's it. That's that's what he posts. And that's, that's his, his like, yeah. you just see a lot of his meals. Yeah, mm -hmm. he'll tell you I'm, I'm going to have, have lunch. My lunch. I'm having my lunch. I'm eating my lunch. And then that's what he usually posts. Not a fan. We gotta get you a yes, fucking activity, I'm Christina. <laughs> Wait, let me see this. Yes, this is what I'm eating. Mustard. I have a headache, so... Wait, what? <laughs> eating mustard. Ew. She likes to eat mustard. She does this all the time. I, I tried to do this headache. as a food challenge for, for Derek. I said, I'll give you 20 bucks if you eat like two tablespoons Will of mustard, and he wouldn't do it. Pull but up that cool story that guy told. This lady does this. I like... <laughs> Yeah. Does that help with headaches, though? Mustard? No, I've never heard no. that. No, she's just a mustard eater. She does this on <laughs> everyone. <laughs> she'll drop it on her shirt and then she'll eat the mustard off her shirt. And I'm stuff. pissed oh, that I didn't wear. Really? I have a shirt that says "Mustard Lover," but it's, oh, yeah, it's a crab crabs. shirt. Oh. Yeah. I should have wore that motherfucker today. God damn, damn it. Yeah. Well, this um, one's Tom's favorite. This is a good story. I think you like. You're a storyteller. You like stories. Love. This is a good story. All right. All right. Story time. <laughs> story. So me and my friend were at a party, you know, at a friend's house, and he met a chick. You can never tell, sometimes you can never tell if a chick, a man, or a woman sometimes. What? Sometimes and, you, you know, can never tell And, you know, he just put the luck in the draw. And he took this chick down to my friend's basement down the house, you know, and we're going to go do the chicka wong wong to her. And, <laughs> And uh, so he's down there, and they're getting in the mood, and he said, why do I feel like there's a log in your pants? He goes, ah, that's not that, ain't that. You know, he pulled down the girl pants at a seven-inch long. On Wait for it. Look at his mouth. Watch the bottom lip. Oh, no, get it. Watch the bottom lip. Find out the guy's name's Susie. Watch it. Nick named Susie. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't that a good story? <laughs> Dude. What's not a good look <coughs> outside of just TikTok in general? What's not a good look is talking about a seven inch dick and within seconds after you say it, you're <laughs> salivating heavily <laughs> on yourself. As if that wasn't you. Oh, that's true. That's in bed right. with Susie. It's He's talking about himself. Look at how much he that loved is. that shit. Look, that's a lot. Yeah. That is the seven dick. Uh, inch equivalent of or seven inch dick equivalent of a slobber right there. Yeah. That's a good I'll be like, hey, what kind of slobber do you have? Like a seven inch dick one. I'm I don't like, know how she, she found this. This is just my favorite story. 
And you just go through these? Yeah. Yeah. It's a great story. Listen, that story did have a beginning, it, a middle, and an end. Did. It really The thing did. is, it had a twist. I don't spend and a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it had all the had all the elements of suspense. <laughs> I don't actually spend a lot of time doing oh these. God. I'm just blessed. Like my feet you is are blessed. pretty good. Yeah, it now. is. I've That's cultivated solid. it to be uh, effective right away. And can you follow <sighs> like do you can, do sorry. you have followers? <laughs> I do, but I don't, I don't. But she doesn't post. You don't post? Don't, yeah, but I don't put my own. She's TikToks. just a curator. I'm just a yeah, curator. I see. Yeah. Missing a golden opportunity, I feel like. This, this one you'll like. What's going on? Hey, can I top you off, baby? You know, I really wish this coffee was my spit and this cup was your mouth. I think that would just be really, really great. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> this. <laughs> so I'll judge. If you show me this person from the neck up, I yeah. would never, ever say, definitely a New Jersey fucking Devils hockey fan. <laughs> I would never pick yeah. hockey fan. No. Off the makeup alone, I wouldn't go hockey yeah, fan. Yeah. The yeah. neck wear, I would definitely not say hockey fan. And I don't. Uh, I don't know. That's disturbing. Yeah. No. Look at that. What are you doing wearing a hockey Look, jersey? He I'm, almost laughs though when he says it. You see that, right? Yeah, he it's gets it. It's almost like it. yeah, he gets that it's funny. Hey, can I talk like right before he says it, right? He goes, you know, watch his I mouth. I really wish this coffee was. Watch. I think he's about to laugh. You don't think and he was trying to just be coy, coy and maybe. I think that would just be. I mean, he's really religious. Really you great. see the Jesus cross. The that's cross the earring. Right God bless. I didn't God realize bless. that. Yeah. So yeah, we know where he is on Sunday. Oh my God. You know, I'm just excited to give marginalized talent a place to show. Well, that's what Hollywood does. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's Hollywood what I'm is. doing. That's what I'm doing. Uh, he what won't doing. he won't believe this one though. You're, You're like not this. ready for this. I'm not ready for any of these. Okay, this one. Come on. Eating brushes, bro? Nah. -uh. Look it's caught in her teeth. <laughs> How does that not kill you? <laughs> it's good. And for then you. tag it up. Yeah, I'm a Sooty mom. At yeah. Sooty.mom. Let me see. Yeah, let me see that again. She bit him right well, This out is my of favorite it. part. If you scroll forward in the video and then they go like, see how there's someone eating a brush? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, they're eating a brush. Oh, look, but the mirror moved. Yeah, what? Yeah, that's the funny, that's the oh, weird that, oh, part of yeah. this video. Yeah, <laughs> who even the, saw the that? Mirror, nah, I think it's because this is an ASMR video. Uh -huh. And so it makes oh. a noise when it moves. So it's like, hey, check it out. This is the thing making the noise. Oh. Wait, it's a thing that moves. I think we know what he's jerking off to at night. Why don't you pull up the other ASMR? We haven't even seen that yet. Fuck. Look at that. She's tearing through that brush, man. <laughs> Ripping it up, man. God. <sighs> yeah. That's a talent, though. <laughs> not everybody can do that. Are you into that ASMR stuff? Not at all. No. There's a I'm, I'm not into anything. That's like it's it's your wiring, right? Like you're either in or Um this looks crazy. The juggalo? Yeah. There's a lot of those on TikTok by the way. Yeah, there's a big juggalo lane there. What's up guys? It's Juggalo ASMR. I got my face paint on today. Um well, I just put it on. I made like a video or two today, I think. I'm not sure. But I just barely put it on. I didn't have enough white. So my other white's kind of fucky right now. So whatever. You got to do what you got to do. You got to work with what you got. How about some good old scissor sounds? Got plenty of white. Today. White. Just going to pretty much yeah. be all scissor sounds if you guys don't mind. I know there's a lot of people that just like scissor sounds. So let's just do some scissor sounds. Get into right? it, asshole. I mean also ruin <laughs> Interrupting the scissor sounds with the fucking ceiling fan in the garage. I can clearly hear whirling back there. Oh, get it. I like that sound though. Yeah, I like that bottom. sound. That's a pleasant sound. Okay, I don't need that. And he took his he took his headphones off. Doesn't like the sound. Well, now it's bothering that, me. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah, we're good on it's that. It's too much. Why did he take them off? He doesn't like scissor sounds. It's too intense. You don't like it? It's too, it, it's, it's too much. It was also too rapid, much. like super yeah, rapid fire. He just doesn't like ASMR. <laughs> yeah. I want to do a podcast. He better not be anti-juggalo, right? Right? I don't even... 
know what that is. No. Okay, good, good, good. good. We're good it's there. It's insane that's, that's clown posse. I mean, <sighs> Jesus. Do you even man. work here? Jesus. I want to do a podcast. I think we should do one out of here. So just one or two a month. It's just the one. Someone comes on and tells one story, but all of us have to have aggressive cotton mouth Ugh. and just. Oh, I don't like so. that. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> My ASMR podcast, guy. You probably get a you whole. Watch. I was gonna say you watch. I start a YouTube channel and just sit there and lip smack cotton I mouth. I'll it. bet you I have ten million. Stop it, because I can tell when guests All are right. very nervous on other people's shows when they do that a lot, and you're like, oh. You know when you tend to hear public speaking like a best man speech or something, yeah. and, you're just, and they're just like, and um, I just want to say to the bride and groom uh, yeah, on your special day. <laughs> Oh, and you're just like, fucking take a sip of something, motherfucker, please. I can't sit here and listen to that. Stop. I hate that sound. I'm gonna, I don't like I'm gonna it. I'm going to take a sip of something. Oh, uh, <laughs> ew, and I don't like that sound. <laughs> I hate horking sound. Horking. <clears throat> Who's this motherfucker right hey guys, here? This is the best. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's dude. not a fucking joy. That would be in my seat. Sick. Oh. What the fuck was it? I don't know. He says, I mean, it looks like he's smoking something. <sighs> that might be PCP or something. He just pulled in hard. Yeah, that's not a joy. He hit the shit out of that thing. Let me see it again. What was it? Why I don't know. Happen? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, that is disgusting. <laughs> All right, you can you can take it down. You can take it down. Wait. Oh. What happened? Like he smoked it and I saw he barfed and then what happens after? Then he just said that's not, a, like, joy. That's not that a, joy. a joy. I think he had a realization is what I think happened after Ugh. immediately. Was it gone? I was not yeah, expecting it's gone. It's that. Gone. It's gone. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, for the okay. love. Mm. I don't like your intro anymore. Ooh. I changed my mind. Oh, do you want to give? Can we can we pull up the three intros and have him weigh in on them? Is that something you could do or no? No. And I can't them. play it off of this at all. On that soundboard now. The yeah. audio won't play. Or actually, no, 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 no. You can play the audio. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Just go into what five oh nine. Yes. Thanks, guys. <laughs> guys brought that the fun. That was so <laughs> disgusting. Don't you dare fucking play that again. I was so mad. I hate that. Mm. Where is it? Oh, geez. in soundboard. Yes. Okay. <sighs> God damn it! Doesn't it blow you away too that just uh, soundboard in five hundred nine vomit itself? Like no thanks, no thank you. But when you smell no it, push. you could vomit. I don't want to talk about Isn't it. Isn't it crazy that when you smell <laughs> shit, you don't shit though? Uh, Isn't that weird? That is kind of weird. It's weird to me that other bodily smell, like urine, I smell urine, doesn't make, when I walk through a, like, you know, where a homeless guy just pissed, doesn't sure. make me go, God, I have to pee, or I smell shit, yeah, I don't but, have to shit. But when you hear somebody pee, it makes you, like, if you have to pee and you hear somebody pee, it yeah, triggers your need to pee it? even or more. Or any, like, water stream. Yeah. Like, oh, or what about when you have to shit and then you're in the car, but then when you get closer to your house... It ramps up because you really your asshole know. knows you're home. <laughs> yeah, th your asshole knows when you're home. It knows. It, does. it definitely does. Now, why can't you fart while you pee? Have you thought about that? Why That's can't a great you? Question. It's a question. It's a brain teaser I, for Ryan. Okay, I'm asking. I'm just making clear. So I know, you know. Why can't you hold in a fart? Sorry, a wrong. Oh, question. I was going to say. I'm thinking. I, I I probably can rip a fart. So, but while why? I pee. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm probably. A but problem. have you ever thought about why you can't hold in a fart as you're peeing? Why is that, right? I'm guessing maybe you're restricting everything with your bladder and everything that's trying prostate and whatnot to push out that urine, maybe is my guess. You're restricting. I guess you're tightening to hold that fart in, so you're restricting right. the, the push flow. I got you. It's all in the same muscle. Are you, Do you have an answer, though? I have a theory. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like, shut up, don't tell me to tell him why. <laughs> no, I just had someone say, well, you can't, you can't hold it in because it's all in the same muscle. It probably Which is a is. Dr. Drew question. We have to see if it really is all the same, but it's in the same region. It's in the same region. I'm going to say it's a different muscle. Your sphincter is a different muscle than your. It's a different, but it's, it's in the same region. Yeah. Now, have you ever had it where you pee, 
you take a brown and then as you're browning, you've made more pee and then you pee again. Do you know what I'm talking about? So wait, I'm I'm <laughs> sitting down. I'm You make yellow. To take a dump. I pee. I pee first. <laughs> you pee first. Pee first. You take a dump. Dump. And then you're like, oh my God, I made more pee in the time that I'm taking this. Oh, dump. and then yeah. Well, it probably just wasn't all the way out. Oh, you think so? It was like a mm-hmm. reserve amount? Yeah. Hmm. I pee a lot these days. I have a theory for it, but it's not really important. But <laughs> The somebody said the way to empty your bladder is to sit oh. and 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 lean forward, sort of oh. like accordion it out. But I was like, I don't sit and pee. Right, like you're missing the whole fucking problem here. I don't right. sit and pee unless I'm doing that. Well, I'm gonna lean forward or too because I pee a lot. That's what they say. If you yeah. lean forward, you sort of accordion it out. You know? Okay, <laughs> good theory. There you go. Um, well, you've been, you know, <clears throat> you like our theories. I like it. Uh, you've been friends with us a long time. <laughs> And you know, <laughs> you shit's about the cut shit's about to come to an end. <laughs> Do you know about our intro battle lately? Yeah. So people wanted a longer intro. 10 hours. Yeah. So what ended up happening was hours. the guys, because we had like <laughs> beef about, you know, how the intro should sound, should it change? The three guys in there each made a oh. intro and submitted as like, could this be the new intro? So the first one is based on christina's tiktoks and so blue band submitted that and was like this is say be... don't tell me who did them oh sorry that's okay, okay but i know who oh did yeah them. don't okay. maybe we shouldn't okay Damn, mommy. I ordered a buffalo burner. i'm not a racist my sister went down going down to the mountain welcome welcome to your so different little intro cold, sounds little, little cold open tiktok cold open yeah. tiktok cold i open. love it mm-hmm. i did until i got the barf video um this is the uh blue band the next one. Let me see if I can get this to play. Um, let's see here. Nope. Nope. You making here my lunch. It's fucking morning. Just glassing. D D. Mega doo doo. I turn into a <laughs> telescope. Well, 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 well. So what those are is those are more recent drops. Mm-hmm. Like in the, line with the, your mom's. House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, all those came from the show within the last year, as opposed to the intro now, which is the. Drops from like ten years ago, right? Right. Your mom, so, who the fuck is that? Yeah. Your mom's house. So that's just a D D mega dude. Yeah. It's fucking morning. Just glassing. D D mega doo doo. I turn into a telescope. <laughs> well, well, well. So that's that one. Now this is the last one. D D. And there's no point in trying to mask who it is. Okay. So what happened here was I don't know. If, should I just play it? And then tell yeah, you what yeah, it is. Yeah, just play it later. See okay. his reaction. Okay, hold on. Man, this is <sighs> just trying to get it to play. Right. This is beep time. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stands. Welcome, welcome <laughs> to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, <laughs> and Christina Pashitsky. <laughs> welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> So, <clears throat> wow! Josh did a man. full acapella version. I heard that. Yeah. Um, here's the problem. <laughs> I know you want me to put logic to the most ridiculous shit, and I'm going to. But uh, the real problem here is you've got three really strong, good yes. choices. <laughs> yeah, that's the real problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So too much talent. Let me go through them one by one. Yeah. I think that TikTok could potentially be a fad like Vine. And then when that goes away, then you're going to have to come up with a new intro. So I feel like that's probably not the best choice. But I would put that at number two. Wow. Number three, I would put Potter only because who knows what that guy's going to fucking do in his career. And any moment that shit spirals out of control, you got to change that fucking intro. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's pretty unstable. Yeah. Uh, so of those choices, I think I would take the, what is it? The new Doo Doo. Oh yeah. What was it? D D Mega Doo Doo. Yeah. That's my choice. But based on why though. Yeah. That's a solid. They're all, they're all my favorite. Solid logic though. It is solid logic. That's all. It is pretty great though, right? It's fucking morning. Just glassing. D D Mega Doo Doo. I turn into a telescope. I do want to say this. 
there could uh, potentially be a glitch. possibility for a hybrid because where I really do think Josh has excelled wow. is when he got into the chuka chuka do that oh, again. Right. Oh, yeah. I feel like you could dig D make it. What is it? DD make a doo doo. By Up the way, top and then hit Josh's oh. like that. Come on, ride the train. This That's what it sounded like. Time. <laughs> Who is None Randy? Right. Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mom on the fucking stands. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. <laughs> And Christina Pajitsky. How do you do that? And then welcome to your mom's where is it? Right here. I feel like you can bring this up oh. on the end of the other, that, you know, make a hybrid. By the way, Dee Dee like Mega Doo <laughs> is a new is a news anchor reporting Dee Dee. on a fallen uh, officer of like a someone a, a dead. Wait, officer. that's her name? No, she misspoke <laughs> about like a. Fa- she was like, and this weekend at the funeral of Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. Nah. <laughs> Right oh here. my it's god Mangad- Mangad- to say their final goodbyes Mangado. to this fallen louisville police officer dd mega doo-doo i'm sorry mangudu oh my Look, you can see worse. the fear in her eyes oh, that she yeah. was gonna fuck A that fallen up officer dd mega doo-doo this fallen louisville police officer <clears throat> dd you know what look at her you're right lost up messing Deirdre up for yeah. Dee Dee is more offensive than yeah, the Mega Doo Doo. <laughs> that is a tough name. It's Deidre. A final goodbye Mangado, to fallen officer right? Deidre. Mangado. Yeah, Mangado or I got or, a feeling that's Mangado. It's, it's or definitely Mangado. not Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. It's not no. Mega Doo Doo. No. <laughs> but that that final goodbye <laughs> is going to live on virally forever. Yeah. That, that ain't going to be no the, one's going to be the last time. Ever. Tom, what a stupid fucking bitch, right? You dumb fucking woman. <laughs> Dee Dee right? yeah. That's gotta go in Stupid there. Stupid fucking bitch. Play her again. Final goodbyes. Say their final goodbyes to this fallen Louisville police officer. Yeah, Dee Dee D- Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry. Mangudu. Man, you gotta She's get her. You bright. should have her on the fucking show. No. That's a high pressure, right? Like imagine a, a calling like a like a thousand newscasts <laughs> and then I don't know. There, there's oh. gotta be times where you're I mean there's times we do this shit where you're like, I fucking stumbled yeah, over her. I would have been sure. like, dear Dram. <laughs> I, I would have bailed out. I'd rather that fuck up be out there than Mega Doo Doo. Mega Doo Doo. Mega Doo Doo. Who knows? You know what could happen to She might have kids and they were all joking around all week. Like, you're going to mess up and say Mega Doo Doo. And that she just got in her head. In her that Because right away she yeah. said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Almost like, listen. Mega Doo Doo. I'll give you $50,000 if you say Mega Doo Doo. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that shit. Yeah. Like, Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting a brand new car. Mega doo doo. Mega doo doo. Mega doo doo. I think that's the uh, that's my pick. The mega doo doo take, mm. but with Josh's beatboxing. Is that's that is that even beat? I uh, wouldn't say it's beatboxing. No. No. Oh man, that's so fucking funny. Oh god. Um, the other one. Do you ever worry that you're retarded? <laughs> <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Um, oh, that could be. Can we open. show? Uh, can you pull up um, Uncle Terry on All Scam right. City? Is this the guy, Terry in the wheelchair? This is Terry uh-uh. in the wheelchair. No, you move, Terry. No, no, no. Get out of the way, Terry. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Where they're shooting no. the fireworks off around the guy. <laughs> no, you never. How have you guys never seen that? We have seen it. We played it. No, no, no. We haven't played it on the show. I know what you're talking about. Right? You, of course, Terry's in like an electric wheelchair. And they put a uh, not the often show. We find put, let's go. We here. found out that there's a show on Netflix right now called Scam City. Okay, yeah. And Scam City, it's people tell you their tales of traveling to different parts of the world and how they basically got scammed, right? Con. Oh, I'd like to watch that. Yeah, it's a cool show. And we found that one of our personal stars, mm. like someone we've highlighted, is on the show in a sincere way. Well, not just that. One of the most scandalous videos we've yeah. ever played. He Weird. cost us $2.3 million. We lost our McDonald's sponsorship because of Terry. Watch. And then we re-got it later, but that's a different story. It was an $80 cab ride. I gave him 100 He gave me 20 back. And once we got inside the club, we looked at the money, and the friends that we're meeting was like, no, this is fake. Right, so the story is like that. And then here you can see the next guy here. After only a mile, the meter that was guy like four. On the right. There's Just Terry. Keep watching. That's Terry. So he's telling the story on the After show. only a mile, the meter was like four times what it should have been. So right away, I just told the driver, just stop. We'll get out and pay. Not a big deal. We pull out a 50, and then he starts giving us change. One of the bills that he gave us was a 10. Um, that was a false note. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck, fuck, 
Fuck truck back. Ah! Oh, that's no. him. That's oh. the same guy. That's the same guy. God damn it. <sighs> what the fuck's he doing? He's fucking a fuck sleeve with a butt plug in. He he's what? He has he has a fuck sleeve with beads in it and he has a <laughs> he has a butt plug in his ass. And he and he has a Terry he has a, Terry. That's Terry. Yeah. <laughs> He has a ruined organ. And he's worried about a fake 10? I mean, you got a lot of other problems on your fucking plate, Terry. Look, look here That's he is, him. man. The same guy. This is the same guy. You just saw him, so there's no, like, you just saw him sitting on that chair. <laughs> there he is. And I'm here to do a little video. Happy about it. So happy. Look at the tan line on his neck. Yeah. You see where oh, yeah. it just changes? Most people tan the face. I haven't used it, of course. He's stroking right now. How have your researchers found this, but people at Netflix have no idea? I know. Right? <laughs> and then we, you know what else happened? When and you have three specials on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> you have two. <laughs> Five times you guys have been on the network, and they can't even fucking figure this guy out. And guess out. what else they, they made us realize? Not only is it like the guys on that show, and here he is about to put his butt plug in, <sighs> but that we actually featured him. 100 episodes earlier on a different video. Mm -hmm. He's actually been on our show twice and we didn't even realize that that right there is his second appearance. A 100 episodes er earlier, <laughs> he was on our show in, uh, in this capacity. This is him obviously from a video that was even older, but check him out here. Uh, my name is Pete and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new toy that I got. And the cool thing about it is it incorporates a power drill <laughs> and a flashlight and your hard dick. Yeah, when you're hot mile. Use the cordless. Look at that. He's been doing he's been in this uh sex toy lane for a minute. Look at the smile on his face. Oh, yeah. Oh, By the way, his name shameless. is Pete. We call him Uncle Terry. Just became a oh, nickname. Okay. All right. Uh, Danny Brown came on the show. He calls him Butt Plug Cuss. <laughs> <laughs> so. A really fun toy. Here <laughs> we go. Did you hear? Here we go. This is pretty fucking amazing. He's, He's always had a good time. Did you hear the episode? He goes, uh, oh, when we have Butt Plug Cuss. <laughs> Look at his face. Ugh. He loves it. He loves it. Oh, man, I feel good. He's so happy, and he's so innocent about it, too, right? I don't know. He's like, I want to do this I'll, today. I'll tell it's you so what. innocent. Bump Pug Cuz got on Netflix before I did. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing something. I'm going to start fucking toys at home. Oh, God, Ryan. <laughs> this guy is unreal. Do you ever worry that you're retarded? <laughs> yes, I do. I think this episode made me retarded. <laughs> So did you realize if I wasn't already, I'm the, definitely the second it. appearance. Did you realize that was no, no, you, you didn't even catch it. Not even for weeks, dude. And let me tell you something. The mommies are so thorough, dude. We got notified to meet the mommies like that guy's from episode. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Amazing. What? Yeah, you, you know, guys have the best episode fan. one of two bears podcast. We brought in a friend of a friend to serve drinks. I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> we all always said was her first name that it's, that's it never gave out any inf other information uh, like it's not somebody i'm connected to so like if you went to like my page you'd see who i follow right. in well, like in two hours like we found her and like yeah. all the people were like Instagram. we found her. I, I have no idea how just knowing her name they found her they find everyone they found robert paul champagne yeah they did they found the guy in scared straight did the mommies find that guy? Uh, that was a fan, just like a, a stand-up stand -up comedy fan. fan. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the mommies are powerful. Unbelievable. You do not want to fuck with nope. the mommies. No. They will come after you. It's amazing. They it will get amazing. you. Um, <laughs> By the way, sidebar, that McDonald's commercial I did yeah. has 5 million views now. What? Yeah. The one the one where I talk about yeah. like being a mom and the strip off of McClure, that it's banana. <laughs> well, I told, That's I, mommy power. When I saw it, I was like... Please say this is real. Tom's like, it's real. It's I was like, I real. can't even. And then I saw you up at uh, Sketch Fest and yeah. everything up there. I cannot even Can get Can you over believe it. that I they came yes. crawling back? Which they should. <laughs> D'Elia. Well, they did. I mean, they realized that, you know, Uncle Terry and, and them shaming him. It's not It's not in the spirit of inclusivity, which is what McDonald's is all about. Being inclusive. Have you, have they ever sponsored a podcast in the history of that company? I we're say it's first. groundbreaking. I think we're the That's first. That's groundbreaking. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Dalia just Aubrey. sent me TikToks to send you. Oh, yay. So now we're getting... So, by the way, Dalia has been making some great ones of his own. He makes fun of them, which is even... Do you want to share with the, the audience, it's... or are you just going to play it on your phone and enjoy? Oh, okay. What should I do? <laughs> that, just that warp it in right now? Text just came in. Native. No. I'm not. But you're just going to watch it and enjoy it? I don't know even what it is. I have. Oh, have, you're going to watch it. Okay. Do you worry that you're retarded? I am retarded. retarded. <laughs> Jesus. I wanted you to share with the class. I'm not sharing because it just came. I don't even know what it is. I just said, I'm telling you that he's sharing TikToks now. Okay. You're opening the TikTok lane up. Okay. All right. God. What is telling you? So, <coughs> um, Ryan, where are you going to be? Do you have any dates coming up? When's this come out? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Ryan or Blue Band? Uh, probably early mid August. Uh, well then, well if it's early, well August first through third, I'm in Minnesota House of Comedy. I don't know if it'll be up by then or not. And then uh, September fourteenth, I'll be uh, at the Famous in Baltimore. You can go to, and then any shows locally, I'm at the Improv Comedy Store, Ice House. Go to uh, RyanSickler.com. You can get all that info. And we're thrilled to have you here doing the honeydew every week mm -hmm. i love it mm. yeah. thank you so what much what a great podcast it's it been is. awesome and for those of you who don't know uh what this is ryan sickler talks to people about what would you consider to be their their low lights their low lights we highlight the low lights mm -hmm. and then Hence laugh the laugh find light in that those moments and mm -hmm. laugh about that shit now Which is great and you, we've both done it and um yeah. you've had a ton Dr. of guests through yep uh, we've got some great upcoming guests too. So yeah, it's been awesome. I love it. I love being here. It's fun. Cool. Right over we there. We love you. Right over, right there. over there. Yeah, right over Studio there. Studio jeans. Um, is there anything else, Blue Band? No, I think we covered most of it. All right. Um, <laughs> we covered a lot. <laughs> covered a lot that today, was so guys. Much I, I gotta go home and think about a lot. Of shit. Yeah, me too. Whew. That's a heavy. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Thanks, Jeans. All right. Your mom's house will be right back. And we are back. We were just discussing how horrible it is to share a Netflix account with Christina. But we're back from lunch. He's, he's you know what, Tommy, you're a little saucy today, Bernays. What's going on with you? What do you mean? What's I think you're overworked. I think you're tired. You need a break. I might be overworked. That's fine. You're overworked. And I milked your, your ding dong last night. So I know it's not a milking issue. <laughs> you need a day. You need a day. It could be, it could be, but it also could be that, you know, you could concede a little bit on the Netflix watching. Okay. Oh, God. All right. I let you watch your murders when I fall asleep. You let me watch my murders. I mean, look at the way you even phrase that. Because it's horrible for me. It gives me nightmares. That's the part that excites me. Okay. Hi. Hi. So <laughs> Stephen Randolph is here. He is a great comedian. We see him at the store quite often. Very funny guy. But also I got to tell you, so what prompted this whole thing was a few months ago, we we're fortunate enough to have uh, Too Short and Kevin Blatt. Am I saying yeah. that right? KB, K Kevin KB Blatt. <laughs> came in here and the first thing they said when they walked, like literally in the lobby, they were like, man have you heard Stephen Randolph stories? And I was like, no. <laughs> and they're like, you've got, I mean, that's how they introduced themselves. They introduced wow, themselves talking cool. about you. That makes me feel good. Yeah. And they were like, he had just, I guess you had done their radio show or yeah. their, their podcast. I don't know what it was, but he mentioned it. Blow the whistle. Podcast. Blow the whistle. Yeah. That's right. Do, too do, short. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Probably do it near the mic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, anyway, so then, and then I saw you like a couple days later, then I mentioned you to Ryan Sickler. I think mm -hmm. you'd done his, the crab feast. feast. Yeah. And he was like, oh, he, he was like raving about it. So it's so cool. I, you gave me like a little taste of background. She has no idea, which no is the idea. best. That's why I didn't want anything to be said. Got it. Um, but just, okay. So for the audience, to, you know, to get a little background, like where, where are you from? Just so people know. I'm a local guy. I'm from oh. Pasadena, California. Wow. What? The 626. The 626. Hey, where'd you go to high school, bro? I went to St. Francis, mm -hmm. uh, was kicked out of there and graduated from Pasadena High School. Hey, okay. okay. So were you a bad boy? Is that what was going I on? I was a wild kid. You were? Yeah, very wild. And how long have you been doing stand up? I've been doing it off and on. I would say consistently for the last five years. Okay. So comedy since 2009, mm -hmm. started with improv, then started doing stand-up, did it with Sam Trip met Sam Tripoli outside yes. of comedy. Love him the most. Uh, yeah. And he, you know, that's like, who got me started in stand-up. Are you serious? Sam really? Sam Tripoli. 
I met Sam and I lied and said I was a comic, even though I did like two open mics. He's like, dude, you start opening for me. And it was, <gasps> start opening. Oh, oh my me. god! And I like in the car down to the comedy store in La Jolla. This was like 2010. I didn't have a set, and I was like, oh, what? What have I done? You know? And I like squeaked it out with just like. Did you tell him? No. You kept it to yourself. Yeah. And then you got well, like, through it. Yeah, I I opened. Tony Hinchcliffe featured and then um, Triple E headline, but I was so wacky. This was when I was newly sober. So I was like six months off heroin. So I was so fucking weird oh, that yeah. they were both like, oh, this guy's wild. And they just kind of kept me around because Let's go of back that. to six months off what? Heroin. Yeah. <laughs> How long were you on heroin? Uh, 10 years. Hooked 10 on open. years. Yeah. How did you get started on heroin? Uh, got my wisdom teeth pulled. And I loved it. You got yeah. your so you, wisdom teeth pulled, you, and you taking some type Vicodin. of Vicodin. Vicodin, and like you know, I would I was always in, I was on meth in high school, and I was always on something mm -hmm. since I was like thirteen. Um, and but then when I got my wisdom teeth pulled, they give you Vicodin, and I took it, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Feels mm -hmm. good, and all my problems went away, yeah. and I was like, I always want to feel like this. I'll do anything. Yeah. I, I want to feel like this the rest of my life, and I was like happy. And so was, when like, when that. I don't actually, when that first prescription ends, you know what I mean? Like when you, yeah. do you immediately go like, oh, everything still hurts. So I got to get more. Or like, how do you, you know what I mean? Like, how do you ramp, keep it going on that the, initially? It's funny because the first one I didn't, it wasn't, um, I was still young. I was like 18 and I was smoking a lot of pot and drinking at the time, doing a lot of Coke. So it wasn't like, it was like this amazing thing, but you kind of like forget about it in the chase of like getting laid and all this other stuff. So when the prescription ran out, I was like, damn, that fun thing is gone. And then I looked at the bottom and it said refill. So I went in and I refilled it. So I had another like 20 or whatever, but I, you know, passed them out and ate them and oh, you know, did some that. Away. Giving some away. And then, the, then it was gone. And then my sister got her wisdom teeth pulled out like three months later and I didn't even think about it. And then I saw So there was them. a gap between using like another, when, yeah. when that second one ended, you were like, all right. Like you were, yeah, whatever. I'll just smoke weed and, and do coke gotcha. and stuff. And okay. then, uh, all right. And then my sister got her wisdom teeth pulled. Same. I took all of hers. Found at Trader Joe's. They made an Advil that looked like it and replaced it. <laughs> <laughs> you gave her Advil. Yeah, she's tough. She's oh, a tough chick. Man. I love this my shit sister. sucks. Love man. you, Stacy. She's a, she went through. Yeah, she was a soldier. My sister. Um, and then the same thing happened with my brother. I have a younger brother and uh, he got his wisdom teeth pulled. So now like I had this like four month period where I was just like party time. Mm. And then I forgot, it. They, they ran out and it wasn't enough to get a habit. So like it wasn't, you need like to do it like consistently for a month all the time. But once you have the habit, once, it, once you have that habit and there's a physical like deal with it for the rest of your life. So it's been 11 years, I'm 11 years sober now. That's great. I, thank you, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. But if I were to start taking stuff, I would get, I would be back where I was. How much is the, how much is the, like is there a struggle right now? None. You know I mean? None. Zero. Do you, but you, you do like meetings and 12 everything? Steps. Say, it, 12 steps, 12 steps, it, it, I did it. You did it. It took me five years to get it. I went to read, that's a whole other. Wow. I went to a, went to two nice rehabs, then went to one where everybody was in prison except for me. And <laughs> that's the one that did it. <laughs> so Why is that the one that did it? I just was like, this is what happens when I drink one beer. Eventually I will, mm. like, this is what I was like, there, there was a, a hmm, hitman for, <laughs> I, I was with just, people straight out of prison because Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. had this special bill. I think it was called Saska where if you had like life in prison or serious prison time, but if they could tell it was because of drugs, they were letting guys out and it was a good thing. But so now this house that I was in eight bunk beds in the room, this guy, this guy got, I think he's back in forever, but he came in one night, the, the prison bus like dropped him off and he came in he was like, hey, what's up? Took off his shirt. He had swastikas everywhere. And I was just like, you know, I'm like two weeks off here. And I'm like, okay. He's like, what's up, homie? He's like, I'm going to be taking the top bunk. And he just like laid it out. And I was just like, oh boy, this is going to be trouble. <laughs> this is your bunk mate? This is my bunk mate. And, and I go, what's your deal? He goes, oh, I'm a hit man. <gasps> And he and I don't want to say his name. No, yeah. don't. Yeah, Please yeah. Don't. But he, <laughs> but he was like, I can't believe I'm out. I just killed someone yesterday. He's like, this is wild. And and, and I've never slept so peacefully. He was the nicest guy. <gasps> he was so funny. Um, but you just didn't mess with. You just didn't take it to level ten with him. And Fuck he, no. And he would just draw pictures of Einstein all day. He had a lisp. He was like built like Mike Tyson, and he would listen to classical What's, music. What ethnicity? Oh, he was a swastika. He was all white. White, yeah. Wow. Yeah, hitman for the white guys. Yeah, and he loved doing it, and he specialized in killing child molesters. 
And oh, he's that's like, awesome. And he goes, you know what's funny? He goes, he goes, I make little jokes while I'm doing it. And, you know, and he was telling me about this one that just happened 48 hours before. He's like, I was puncturing his stomach and the acid of the stomach was spraying in my eyes. And he was like, wow, wild stuff. And then he just would go to REM sleep. And I'd just be like. <laughs> night, night. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, what oh is. God. Wait, so who would hire him to kill these child molesters? That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh, crazy. And then the head warden. So who would, who would hire him? Yeah, he did it for the cool. white gangs. But he said the other races weren't on top of their child molesting killing game. And so he took that upon himself and he just He's did like, the whole I'll prison. handle this for you. So yeah. meaning he would kill other inmates that were already imprisoned for child molesting. Yeah, he would be okay. the first guy and just kill them. Right I love away. it. I, I have no problem Seems like with a good this. guy, honestly. He actually, that. He, I liked him. Yeah. He was a good yeah, guy. Yeah, he sounds great. Yeah. F- uh, had swastikas on him. Was, well, that was part's a little weird. Fixated on Einstein, <laughs> obsessed with Einstein. It was. Did you know he was Jewish. I, I and I didn't want. I didn't want to cross that line with yeah, him. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But he was oh. fixated on Einstein. Yeah, you didn't want to be like. Beautiful. You know, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> you no. Know, no. One time I snapped at him, and he calmly said, "You know, that was interesting. That's the first time in 11 years someone's ever talked to me like that." He's like. Wow, new experience. And I just got the chills and I was like, uh, you know, because I'm like with John off yeah, drugs. Yeah. I'm like, shut the fuck up. And he was just like, it was like Mike Tyson. He was like, wow, that was an interesting experience. And I was just like, oh. Did you like apologize or something or no? Yeah, yeah, but we were cool. He would have mandatory, he'd put on K Rock in the morning while we were all getting ready. And he would, I would have to play the bass, some other guy. And these are all guys that didn't want to do this. These are black guys, Mexican guys. They're all like doing it for him. We're all doing, he, would, he would make us sing K Rock. So he would listen to like Kevin and Bean or whatever it is in the morning. And we would ha- all have to do an imaginary, I would play bass and hey. And, and if you didn't want to do it, he's like, you don't want to have fun. And it'd be like, so it. we were all fucking doing it. And he was a scary killer. And so we're all playing. But looking back, it was, the, it was so, it was like the one of the greatest experiences of my life. Holy I, I, yeah. shit. So he would play that. And he would, he'd always do that. We were near the, the ocean and he would always go, Steve, he was, he was built like Mike Tyson. He was missing a front tooth. His face was just covered. And he looked like when you watch the Aryan Brotherhood documentaries, like the yeah. cover guy, like that's what he looked like. And he was like, hey, Steve, come here. Come to my room. Or come, come over here. And I would say, yeah, yeah, Scott. And he would go, but he had a, a, another name too. And he, he would go, do you want to get sober, um, be roommates, live at the beach, and have the best summer ever? And I would go, yeah. And he goes, guess what? We're already doing it. And, it, and then and then he would go, all right then. And because the, the head head prison guy, when he would give out orders, he I, I don't know if I should be. I don't know. This isn't cost my. I'm appreciating this. Yeah. 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 He, he would all right. He would always end everything with all right then, and you would have to say all right now and and it just got like ocd like our whole rehab he'd be like all right dan and we would be like, all right everyone's now. doing what he Everyone was the greeting now how did he set that up he says i'm gonna say all right then he was and very you like say that. all right now yes exactly like i wonder that. what would have happened if when he said like i'm gonna take that top bunk if you're like i'm already on that top bunk <laughs> you been like, no, you're, no, not. you're not yeah i think he, he would think it's funny because he was so hardcore that yeah. he was just tripping out when he came out it was christmas time and we were all at this house meetings, with all these people detoxing. And he goes, <laughs> he was very polite, very manipulative, <laughs> and very funny. Excuse me. And all these guys are coming in to share with us about their sobriety. And there's like oh 80 guys God. in this room. There's a Christmas tree in the corner of this like hall that we're in. He goes, hi, um, can, can I don't know if this is weird, but I haven't seen a Christmas tree in 11 years because he just Aww. got out of here. He goes, can I hug it? And the guy's like, okay. And he just went and hugged and kissed this. He was very flamboyant. <laughs> Was, he was so hard he was flamboyant it yeah. was it was out of control but Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. scotty scotty doing his thing <laughs> yeah loved him he was funny well so, that that's great. outrageous um now so one of the like the main story that like yeah that blew like kind of piqued my interest <sighs> is that you met your now lovely wife how long ago five about five years ago about, at an open mic at an open mic mm-hmm. and i don't know how long you courted but from what I understand, what you were going to tell me about was about your first, was it a first official date? A first official date. So did you, um, did you ask her out right then and there at that first open mic? So, okay. So what happened? I got friend zoned right away. It was at Sal's comedy hole. Oh yeah. yeah. That's and your wife, by the way, for people that knows Chelsea. What's that? Your wife. Your, the, Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the audience. Oh though. yeah. Chelsea Skidmore. Yeah. Very, very funny comedian. My best friend. Yes. My mm-hmm. absolute best friend. Yeah. I love you. Um, uh, met her at an open mic I was hosting. She tried to cut the line. I shut her down and I was rude to her. 
and I started ripping on her on stage because like this hot chick's not gonna do this to me. And then I felt really bad, and I was like, God. And I, in in twelve step, you make amends. And so I found her on Facebook. I was like, Hey, I'm really sorry. Because you're already sober at this point. Yeah, I was yeah. already sober, and I was like, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. That was inappropriate. I just felt, you know, blah blah. And then she was like, Okay, cool. And then we became friends. And then I was like, She was so hot, so funny. I liked her right away. But she friend zoned me. You know, she wasn't in a place where she could be in a relationship. She was dating like other people, and we were both kind of being crazy. I was fucking a bunch of chicks. She, you know, but and she was fucking a bunch of dudes. And and but we became best friends, like real best friends. And everybody's like, I know so you're, you're legit. That. You're legit jet hanging out a lot truly i really yeah. you know because i wasn't getting laid i never thought it would happen I, I didn't know if it would happen but it, it was it was so fun hanging with her i wanted to hang with her other more than anybody else yeah around and so we just became best friends and then um one day like one day i was just like we we did a podcast together too with tripley on all things comedy we did international bad boys and it was like pretty cool but sam and i got in this huge fight blow up fight and it ended the podcast on the on, on the, the podcast air. yeah it was it was brutal you mm. can't, yeah what was your can you tell us what the fight was about it, 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 you know sam and i had been arguing a lot and he just was misbehaving and yeah without getting into it, okay no okay. one heard the last other than the live stream like it still lives on my hard drive in my computer maybe one but day it's not out. out there it's not out there oh, okay, we got okay. in a screaming match and chelsea it was me my wife and Sam Tripoli, and it was a very fun podcast. We all got along really well, and it was awesome. And uh, but I don't. At the end of it, yeah, it was a, a blow up, and, okay. and 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 Chelsea and I were on that podcast, and in in that podcast, I'd always talk about this Bukaki lifestyle, this Bukaki thing that I had done, and you'd done. Well, okay, yeah, the lifestyle. I didn't know there was a Bukaki <laughs> lifestyle. So. <laughs> Well, okay, so I started interning at Big Brother magazine. Oh, the skateboarding. The, you know yeah, about yeah, it. I remember. Yeah, I was in like a lot of their videos and stuff. No and I worked shit. for Jeff Tremaine and no Dave Carney. And that was the coolest Which became time of the my jackass. Life. Jeff Tremaine did all the jackass All stuff. the jackass yeah. stuff. And that was, other than the comedy store, I would say that was like, it's a tie between the co the comedy, the coolness of being a part of that community and, and Big Brother magazine. Big Brother magazine was jackass uncensored mm -hmm. if you can imagine that mm -hmm. so this was you know by the time it got onto mtv incredible show but it wasn't just like by the way as aside there was a time when like that vice magazine was so yeah underground and cool that was yeah dope. and fun before like it became the vice that everybody yeah. knows mm -hmm. yeah it was really cool you get those i would go to those east side dude i know yeah like, like in Los oh yeah i remember like, those days yeah, yeah. yeah and that's the only place like no one really knew it it was like no, free was like dope. that free zine yeah. of just like yeah well big brother was like that equivalent 100 like percent. socal kind of well california i guess big brother i think um influenced vice i think vice was yes. an offshoot yes. of big brother cool. 100 okay yeah. big Makes brother sense. was the, the thing so i remember i was working at a trader joe's and, I, and my friend steve lukasevich uh was like hey man you got to check out this this skate video and i'm like oh i don't skate he's like nah dude it's mostly porn and people beating the shit out of each other and crazy <laughs> shit so this was like a 98 like, i'll take that yeah right, i was like yeah. yeah skaters are the coolest the aren't cool, they the, they the always coolest. have yeah. the coolest shit going and like late 90s skaters it was yeah. just like a different thing Still. and so he put in this video and um I watched like Steve-O, this was like before Jack and I was like, dude, what, this is fucking rad, Johnny Knoxville, all this stuff. And I just, I remember like just watching that going, I'm gonna be in that next video. I just had this feeling and I was yeah. like, I'm gonna be in that fucking next video. And he's like, how? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. So I, uh, so I was like, I have to get footage from these guys. So this was before like internet really, it was 98. And so I, 411, Larry Flint publication because I saw at the end that Larry Flint made it. I kept calling Larry Flint, kept calling Larry Flint, said, I need to talk to Big Brother Magazine, need to talk to Big Brother Magazine, was leaving them messages, messages, I want to intern for you. They didn't respond. And so then my friend dressed up like a ninja. So I had a, a camera on my on my shoulders and my friend dressed up like a ninja and attacked this rollerblader and I got it on on film. On like the rollerblader doesn't know it's happening. Yeah, this is bad vibe. This isn't okay. good. I'm so this was a different Steven. This was on okay. crystal meth doing anything it take, <laughs> anything it took. <laughs> and uh I called them again. Like I, I was like, I'm not stopping until until I get this. And I called, I said, Hey, this is Steve. I got footage of my friend in a ninja outfit um beating up a rollerblader. <laughs> And they were like, called me back instantly. They're like, hey, come in tomorrow. Can you come in tomorrow? Uh, and I walked in. I showed them the video. And they're like, how fast can you type? I was a fuck up in high school, but I learned a little bit of Spanish. For some reason, I liked Spanish and I liked the typing class. We uh -huh. had this program called I, Typing Tutor and I loved it. I always say that typing is probably the most useful thing I'd ever learned in high school. It was the number one. It yeah. got me my job at, at Big Brother. There you see, there you go. I would get stoned and play Typing Tutor. It was like a rocket ship. <laughs> you would have to like do this. And I got yeah. really good at it. And I go, I'm a very fast typer. And they're like, 
type something for us. And they were, they had, they get, okay, come back in. And I was like, these guys don't need friends. Somehow I got into this. I just need to type and transcribe all their, their interviews. And every once in a while they'll give me, they'll give me, um, opportunities. So it was down at, on La Cienega in Wilshire. Larry Flint owns the yeah, building. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Is so that building, cool. is it still there? Still there. Still Larry okay. Flint. Yeah. Yeah. So he owned like 30 or 40 porn magazines. <laughs> One boating magazine and one skateboard magazine. <laughs> so everybody was doing porn in that whole fucking building, but they all had to wear suits and ties. He's very conservative, actually. Yeah. And then Big Brother, we could wear whatever we wanted. So we would be all drugged out, dressed like skaters. <laughs> everybody else is in <laughs> suits. porn, yeah. in suits. And we're like, it, it was the coolest thing in the world. It was just so cool. Like Knoxville's hanging out there. Steve was hanging out there. Like the first time I met Steve, I had to open up the door like my second week and he had taken a hit of a NOS balloon, was purple and just fell on the floor. <sighs> that was, I opened the door and he did that. And he's like, I'm fucking here. And everybody's like cheering. And, you know, it was just a wild, wild time. And so, you know, I ended up working there. I fought Chuck Liddell in a 2-2 like my second week. They're like, all right, you want to stay at this magazine? I was like, yeah. And they're like, you're fighting Chuck Liddell. He, <laughs> no one knew him yet. And they made me watch his Brazilian fights. And I was like, oh, my God. You're like, I'm going to fight this <laughs> yeah. world-class MMA fighter? In a 2-2. And so, like, they filmed me doing that. And I just didn't say no to anything. Wait, what happened in do. that? He beat the fuck out of me. I couldn't walk for two I mean, weeks. he must have taken it easy, right? Wow. He took it easy. And then they're like, turn it up. And he just kept on kicking my leg. And my leg just shivered once and yeah. didn't work for like a week and a half. Nicest Ugh. guy. Yeah, yeah, but that sounds like it would suck. It sucked, but I had to. I was like, I did whatever it took. Yeah, to whatever stay they at this asked magazine. you to do. Yeah. Of course, it's cool as fuck. Cool as fuck. So I'm there, and uh, you know that's when the the so then Jackass hit, and then there was all these people because that was just mania. And I remember the the um, graphic designer Tyler Dare was like, Hey, man, all these doctors are starting to hang out like with the with the groupies and stuff like that. And I go, Who gives a fuck about that? And he goes, dude, they can write us prescriptions for anything. I'm like, what do I want? Like Advil? Like I didn't, I just still didn't think about the Viking because that was like a year before. And I was yeah. like, he's like, Viking? They could just write it. I'm like, wait, what? And he goes, yeah, dude. So we met this doctor and he would just write us prescriptions. Just to hang un, out. Un, yeah, unlimited. I had a bottle and my mom was finding these things. She's like, how is this existing? Like, how are you getting this? But we had all these doctor friends. And so that's when that, that really got bad. And this is. Uh, mm -hmm. at the same time jackass is taking off yeah so wait let me ask you this though because like you know it's such like a crazy crew of mm -hmm. the, the the foundation yeah is part of you like kind of resenting not being in more stuff with them yeah 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 it, it it hurt it hurt but like that was i got on a little too late these guys had already been grinding it out for five years i got you okay so like i was i wanted to be on it so i was filming with the same crews that were filming all that stuff and yeah like i was like fuck i want to be in jackass yeah. but like a lot of the guys, we didn't think it was going to be that big. So like a lot of the, the a lot of the crew, half of the guys stayed in, and made Big Brother, and they're like, dude, they're going to do their their little MTV thing, and we'll just stay at the magazine. And that thing took off so fast, and I stayed at the magazine. Gotcha. And I progressively got worse and worse on opiates. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom was like, I, I started getting really bad, and she was like, you know, if you want to come home, you can come home, but you can't work at that mag. My mom just she did just not knew like, something was. She up. was like, I don't like you working at that magazine, but it wasn't their fault, you know. But it's like, you know, I'm. Well, the environment's probably not great. It's insane. They're doing drugs and they're hurting themselves. I get it. Yeah, it was. It was it's not insane. the same as like an accounting office. No, it's not. <laughs> no, that's yeah. wild shit that was going on. Yeah, it sure. was. It was like un un unbelievable. I mean, we we're just blowing lines of coke, like like watching traffic on Los Angeles. You're like like. It was crazy. And that wasn't even, the, that was like, that was just the beginning for me. But like, so then during that building, I would just wander around the hall. So you'd go on the third floor and they had a consulate where all the girls coming in from Sweden and Brazil, they literally had pimps, guys with fucking hats with feathers <laughs> in them. And they would go, hey, come up to the, I think it was the 10th floor, come up to the 10th floor and check this out. And they would have, they, they would, they were giving girls their citizenship and they were just bringing them in from the Czech Republic, from uh, Brazil, and they were just entering them into porn. And it was like, I even felt bad at the time as much of a pervert as I am. I was like, cause they were my age. I was like 19 or something. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. And the guys were like, Hey, you're going to be a star and all this stuff. And it was just happening at that building. And the but, girls were like, I love country America. Yes. Nice. It's great. It's great. You know, <laughs> free American water come. here. Yeah. Toilets oh. that work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> horrible. So, so like I started wandering around the rooms, and there's porn everywhere, and we got all the reject. If if people submitted for porn and they weren't good looking enough, or they were just too fucking weird, they would give us all at Big Brother because they wanted everyone <laughs> to be cool with us. So uh. it, it came to my intern desk. I would just get all the rejects from all the uh. magazines. So I mean, my walls were just posted with weird, broken dicks and blown out buttholes yeah. and weird <laughs> couples from fucking Pakistan. 
And uh, I just got so bored of porn. It was everywhere. And my, I didn't get paid at the time, but I could. they had a porn suite. So it was about this size, and it was filled with porn. I could take as much home as I wanted. Oh and so God. I brought a book bag, and I was living at my mom's house. And so I brought it. I brought a book bag home every of, single day. Of porn, while you're also getting into drugs more. Getting into drugs and more. And living with your mother. My mother. And I stored it in my brother's room. So we just had this fucking oh, no. wall oh, after a year. No. And one day, I, one day uh, Scott, I hope you're not mad at me for telling this story i love you but one day i came home and i went into my brother's closet and it was all gone and i was like what the fuck and he was <laughs> like mom caught me beaten off it's gone dude it's fuck because she thought he had the problem she thought that, oh. that was just, and he didn't rat on me yeah and so <sighs> like yeah so yeah because she i was gonna say if you had wall-to-wall -wall porn it was everything dude, like, it she sounds didn't like a great that? description to like an addict's tale it was like interior home <laughs> he lives at home <laughs> with book bags full of porn and a pill addiction that is just ramping up yeah just <laughs> starting <laughs> just starting <laughs> jesus wait so what you were saying was no like, i'm just saying like as a parent like she didn't she didn't see she eventually did yeah see the wall-to-wall -wall stacks of videos she, my mom always knew what was going on and oh, she and i would made woman. her I made her thought, think that she was crazy. I was like, she was like saying stuff and I was like, she's fucking crazy. She's crazy. But I, my mom saw it, right? I'm very, I have a love hate thing with my mom. Like we're getting, it's, when you get married, like my relationship with my mom got better. She was really there for me during my wedding. And you know, now that I'm married and stuff and probably gonna have kids and you know, you gotta repair it. But I was like pretty broke it off from my mom, but we we're very alike. And so we rub each other the wrong way. But she was like, from the start, she was like, so, he, I don't know where, cause I was very good at hiding it. Yeah. But she was like, something up with him. And yeah. when they finally found the syringe 10 years later, she was crying like, I am not crazy. Uh, that makes me feel bad. Yeah. Oof. But but uh, so I got bored with porn. So I'm like coked out wandering the halls of Larry Flint publications. And I go, dude, this this shit's fucking boring. I've seen every pussy. Fuck this. Yeah. And then some guy goes, uh, oh, dude, you got to talk to this guy, Jim Powers. He's like, you've never, you know, do you do Bukaki? Because you would, you <laughs> You're like, he's like, like do you what? do it? Yeah, like, yeah. you down with Bukaki? And I'm sure. like, what's that? And, 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 cause you would just go and open up suites and there'd be a girl in like bondage and you're just walking around. Oh, really? Just, like, just there in the building. Yeah. In the building. It was, it was discreet, but like, we had the free pass of the place cause we, we were big brother. And especially when Jackass came on, that we, it was just like, we could do whatever we wanted over there. And so, um, so, so some guy goes, oh, you got to meet Jim Powers. And then I go, okay, well, what's Bukaki? And he goes, well, it's when like 50 to 80 guys jerk off on a girl's <laughs> face. We don't have one this week, but we actually have a reverse bukkake if you want to go out in the valley, on, out in Sun Valley. And reverse? I go, it's when like 50 or 60 girls squirt on a guy's face. We've, uh, we've talked about this. It yeah. exists. Yeah. I've been. I invented it. Wow. I, I, I went. So, okay. So, so I, I quit Big Brother. My mom goes. Wait, that day? As soon as they tell you, you're like, I quit. Around that time, around uh -huh. that time. So I'm getting my timelines a little crazy, but around that time, I quit. And so my mom goes, uh, "It would mean a lot to me, like if you just got a normal job. Why don't you get your real estate license?" So I got my real estate license, and I started doing industrial real estate. I made these porn contacts, and I don't think I called the guy to actually go to Bukaki until I had left Big Brother. So now I'm doing industrial real estate. And I'm sorry, are you, have you met the gym guy? Yeah, yeah I already met him. You met him I, in the building? In the building, because you're just meeting yeah, all these yeah. people and you're getting, it's like the comedy store. So you're getting numbers. Like, I've like, hey. seen you guys around for yeah. a year, but we're just meeting now. So it's like, hey, what's up? I want to come to this Bukaki, you know? So, so I think like six months later, I, I get my real estate <laughs> license and I'm, and I'm selling industrial <laughs> real estate. Come to this uh -huh. So, hey, what's up? I, I know, uh, <laughs> I know Dave Carney and Jeff Tremaine, all these guys, those big, big brother guys I want to come. So he goes, come to this reverse bukkake so i went and i'm in a suit and tie because i'm selling you're actually coming from like working work and so i made my own schedule but i was i had to wear a suit and tie but it was industrial real estate so i was selling like warehouses and factories that got very strange um but i i go to this reverse bukkake i was like this is fucking wild oh my god and these guys, girls are like yeah! just fucking squirting on this guy this and he's just like, like ah. yeah he's just beat off like give me more it was just there's dark it was very it was yeah. demonic energy yeah is demonic well energy. it sounds like fun because <laughs> at the time it sounds fun in theory and then when yeah. you see it you're probably like oh. uh, it's like a strip club you know you're like let's go to the strip club and then it's slowly dark. i would get sad yeah, yeah I, I'd I, like oh that's that's somebody's daughter that's somebody's wow. daughter it's on these manners uh, okay it's on these manners okay right yep. am i mm. rambling too fast no, no. okay mm. i feel like i'm trying to pack all this in so wait so you see you see the when you're at the reverse bukkake, the women are <laughs> squirting in the guy's face. Yeah. Um, 
are you super turned on? Are you like, I got to get out of here? Or yeah. is it just like a fun, crazy environment to be in? Fun, crazy environment and turned on. I'm uh-huh. turned on mostly by just the craziness of things. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I'm like, wow, this, this is, is happening. wild right now. Two of the girls are like off in the corner eating McDonald's. You know what I mean? Waiting <laughs> yeah. in line. Like that whole, the whole circus gets me off. Yeah, the circus. You know what I mean? The right. circus is just like, that's kinky. I could see that because it's like, oh. it's like, a, it's not like, on my list, if you were like, what turns you on the most? I wouldn't be like, probably like a squirting festival. Yeah. But I could see how being at it, you're like, this is some wild Wild shit. shit. There's yeah. Yeah. there's like four girls going like, Ugh, and then there's two girls having a heart to heart over here. A girl eating an <laughs> yeah, egg crazy. McMuffin over here. A guy smoking a cigarette, talking about his favorite movie. It's yeah. like the whole boogie nights deal yeah. you know so this is in this like this general area so it's like the va- it's like the deal you know so but you like when when it's over or do you do you stay till the end i i i, I was i stayed a lot so that one i was like whoa and i was just like i had carte blanche because this guy was like you know you know the the big brother guys and so that was cool and he um jim powers kind of like skater punk rock director guy so he was like letting me just fucking hang there so i went home and my parents had gotten a divorce by that time. I'm living at my dad's in Sunland and I'm doing uh, real estate. I'm doing commercial real estate. So I, um, I started shooting heroin during that time. Damn. And oh. can I, I mean, ask you to so take a step back? Yeah. yeah I'll have questions. <laughs> but so do you tell anybody, um, anybody like what you went to or is that like just for you? you know, <laughs> what, what I went to, what do you, <laughs> the reverse, the reverse the gang, rever- the reverse I, Bukaki. Do you tell your brother? Do you, do you tell any friends? Oh, or dude. Just like, yeah. Like I was, do my, my problem is I'm too open and out and like, like my, so I have a comedy manager, Mike, shout out to Mike Griffin at make good content. I love him. Him and Paul Young are my managements. And he was like, Oh dude, you're going on the fucking podcast. That's really good for you. Like what story are you going to tell? And I'm like, I'm like, cause I'm pitching a TV show right now yeah, and yeah. I'm like trying to, you oh, know, this is great for ABC. They make a lot. Of- <laughs> I know, I know. So he goes, he goes, and I was like nervous a little bit. He goes, so what story are you going to tell the Mexican fight? Cause I used to fight on Mexican talk shows all coked out in a karate suit. And he goes, you can tell that story. I go, Oh, well, they kind of want me to tell the Bukaki story. He's like, Oh, how many people listen to their podcast? I'm like a lot. And he's like, all right <laughs> okay and he cool. like knows he's not gonna like stop me as an artist yeah, but he's like yeah. you know we're pitching shows right now and yeah. so it is what it is it's tbs yeah. i yeah. pitched tbs oh, oh that's steven yeah. randoss Bukaki. <laughs> very funny you know uh, yeah, exactly very funny very yummy Wait, um sorry so then you would jump to heroin you, so but how do you how does one because i've been around i've, I've been around drugs too mm-hmm. obviously but the decision to do heroin feels it always felt very extreme to me. Like, how do you even? It always into sounds that? outrageous to yeah. anybody who's never done it. it. You know what I mean? Like, if you go like, it does heroin. Like, how the fuck do you do like that? Like, you have to put a needle in your arm. Most people are averse to sticking needles in their yes. arms. It's it's bloody and weird what's, and dangerous. What's time number one? Like, okay, yeah. so so and this is why. Like, I I feel like to get to the bukkake, it, it's a it's a journey because this is a part of like this whole bigger story. This is a very long story. So I, I'm trying to, yeah. I don't want to get caught off on these like sure. tributaries, but they're all juicy and very yeah. interesting. Even yeah. to me now saying it, cause I feel like a different person now. So like I'm talking about a person that doesn't even exist. I, I'm, I'm a normal guy now yeah. somewhat, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, um, so I was selling, you know, selling real estate, uh, starting to hang out at these bukkakis and um <laughs> oh so you're on the circuit now i'm on the circuit so you're regularly going <laughs> so and that's another thing so i would i would go in a karate suit i would do a lot of cocaine too and i did jujitsu at the time and then i just quit but i kept this karate gi. you could see it in this video and i i would do on my day on my time off of selling real estate you know in boogie nights those little asian <laughs> kids that were just like lighting fireworks and, yes. and wearing the, the robes yeah, something so came weird. over me i I channeled that. Yeah. And so I'd wear a bukkake, uh, I mean, I would wear a karate gi and sunglasses and I would just be snorting key bun- bumps of coke and I'd just be like living in this karate suit. So everything on, I did. On set? Uh, no, just, or just you mean like in general? In my private time oh. and then when I would go out, I Dude, would wear I can, it. I'm so. trying to imagine one of your uh, like guys that who's using like you're his realtor for industrial real estate oh, and then yeah. he sees you somewhere <laughs> I, I know and you're like in a gi doing coke and you're like you go to the bukkake and he's just like I'm gonna fucking buy know, from this guy I know I know <laughs> holy shit I know I was terrified I really was because I got I got that job through family connections so it oh. would it was I was very very weary of those two worlds crossing because yeah. it was very conservative real estate these guys I worked for were very serious very cool guys and it was, you know, it was serious business. You're yeah. getting someone 80,000 square feet, uh, you know, it's, yeah. you're, you're not, it's not fucking around time. So yeah. I was a, I was actually a very good realtor. It was very strange. I was on so much Coke and heroin. I, I didn't care about saying no. 
I, I didn't I didn't care about hearing no. So I'm like, hey, fucking buy that. Let's go. Let's go. I was just on it, on yeah, it. Yeah. You know, I was, I, my my area was the Burbank Airport to the Van Nuys Airport, all Ooh. industrial. So it was all Israelis, Great. Armenians. I mean, I got a schooling in sales 101. It was just like oh. sell, selling rock quarries to an Israeli dude. Israelis, they sell everything. Right? Yeah, so he's yeah. Israeli. Sell. yeah. Tell me I didn't Especially get a bachelor and yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm selling to these guys and it's like let's fucking buy it. Let's go. You know, I was just I like, love yeah, the uh, love that. I love so valley, when, when we um soundproof this place yeah we had like this israeli guy come and he gave us like a really good <laughs> quote yeah and then like when when he would follow up with them mm -hmm. the quote would go up every time oh like, that's great every time yeah so, like even on like on friday he's like now it's going to be this much more and then on monday be more yeah i'd be like what's going on and then nadav who is israeli yeah would be he'd go like <laughs> It, they're pieces of shit, man. I told you. They're, <laughs> no, no. Fucking, they're my tribe. Here's the thing with your yeah. tribe. I was immersed in it. I didn't want to do real estate. I wanted to always be a comedian. So it was almost like I didn't care. So I was right. ballsy. It's like if you, if someone doesn't want to do something, you're like, oh, bring it. I'm bulletproof. And so. you're so much better at it, actually, sometimes when you I don't give care. a shit. I didn't need anything. I yeah. didn't want anything. Yeah. I was like, fucking buy it, asshole. Like, it's yeah. just my heroin money. Or yeah. don't fuck. So like, the, is, I learned the Israeli <laughs> game. And once I learned the game, I started having fun within that world. Hilarious. I would light up cigarettes in their fucking office and they were just like like bold shit. I'd be like, nah, man, fuck you. You know, and they're like, what? Yeah, look right. At, look at right? him. He loves I would yeah. fire up a fucking butt. He, you can't smoke here. I'm like, let my friend, my friend, stop. You know, you just kind of <laughs> stop them. Stop your nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Come on. My, yeah. And always their cousins always had a building around the corner for half price. Yeah. And I would go, so you mean to tell me you have cousins that know where real estate is off half off i have a lot of people with money let's let's form a, a partnership oh you're right steve i'm kidding okay okay you caught me you caught yeah, me you caught yeah, me yeah. kidding or my, lying? always bullshitting all yeah. just, yeah, just the bullshit. Bullshit. my favorite about nadav is that he's always like i don't know man it's an israeli guy I don't, yeah, I don't know yeah of course the armenian property owners would go steven 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 don't bring me an armenian and I'd yeah. go, that's illegal. I can't not bring you an Armenian. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't want to an Armenian. I don't want yeah. That's that exactly. is so funny. Yeah. My, All mother races is the are same, like that. my mother is the same way. The people that she, my mom is from Peru. Yeah. yeah. The people that she's most suspicious of are Latin people. <laughs> Peruvians. And, well, just any Latin, any, like if there's a Latin guy, she's yeah. like, keep an eye on <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like my tribe either. Yeah. Ruskies, Hongos. I'm like, no, yeah. dude, not Because you, you grew up with their games. Yeah, I know, you know they're their bullshit. I grew up Italian. Yeah. I'm only a quarter Italian, but my grandma's 100%. I grew up on the Italian side. And when you go to a restaurant, my friend, I, I just like, fuck off. Uncle, <laughs> yeah. Uncle Vinny, that, that game doesn't work. Because as soon as they turn the corner, like, you fucking fat, dumb bitch, you fucking yeah. get a blah, blah. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. welcome to my family. It's all bullshit, you know? Maybe everybody's bullshit. Right now. You know what? Maybe. <laughs> right now there are several bullshit. hundred thousand people going, what is up with this Bukaki dude? Okay, okay. So, so, so you're doing it. So you're how doing, does one do yeah, heroin? How do you start That's heroin? The, what's the first time like? My friend started doing steroids that I was doing pills with. Lost the doctor connection. Uh, I don't want to get these guys in trouble, but there was some fake, uh, fake businesses in Hollywood that sold Vicodin and steroids. Okay. So we started going there and also it's like, it's a cover business, it's cover business, okay. you know, and the, you know, uh, yeah, it was a cover. I don't want to say too much. It was a cover business. So then one time we ran out, they, the guy didn't have Vicodin by this time you're throwing up, you're shaking, you need, you need the shit. So I'm selling real estate, but you don't get that Vicodin. You're, I mean, it's like you're seizuring. It's the scariest and how many thing. are you taking a day at that point? Uh, uh, as many as like 20 to 30 to 50 sometimes oh 40. Oh my god. Big now, now cuz I took Vicodin when I had my wisdom teeth pulled and if I took more than 3 in a day I would feel nauseous and ill and shaky. It's, then it's not for you. Interesting. That's, you don't have the taste. It either does people either go, "Oh man, this makes me tired and dizzy" or yeah. "Oh my god, I don't have any insecurities anymore." I right. see. So two it, people. You feel better. You're you don't like, have the this taste. This is a jam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't have the So you're yeah. on like 20 a day, which is a hard habit to keep. You're up. already you're addicted at this There's point. No way. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like I'm like fucking addicted and needing this. So then I I start working at a restaurant at night because I'm not making enough doing real estate even though I was making a ton. I was spending so much money that I would I was moonlighting at a spending? restaurant. Uh, you know, between like be, like two, like between 100 and 300 a day, every day, <gasps> on ev drugs. every day on those Oof, pills, on pills. And that's not on beer. That's not no. on cigarettes. That's not on, that's not on compulsive spending when you're on the shit. Yeah, I needed that in order to go. So like you're doing that. So that's so it's a couple grand a week. You're just a week, a week. Oh, and it's wow. not like, like, Hey, I had a bad week financially. Like now yeah. the disease is like, wake up, wake up, you know? So you have to like, you have to be on it. So we go there, they don't have the Vicodin and the guy goes, look, I don't want to give this to you guys, but we have liquid Vicodin. It's injectable by 
needles. My friends are. And that's the term he uses, liquid Vicodin. Yeah. That sounds a lot softer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was. Heroin, liquid Vicodin. He goes, yeah. I don't want to put God. this on you if you guys don't want to do this. The guy that sold this stuff. And my friend was, here's how it happened with me. I was very scared of needles. Catholic schoolboy. Had a good upbringing, yeah. you know, and never thought it would happen to me. But, you know, I'm hanging out doing pills. My friend's doing steroids. He has needles everywhere. So he's like this buff dude. Um, and one time I took a, a blank needle and I go, you know, I'm just high. Just like, damn, they, they were scary the first time I saw them. Second time was like, dude, why are these around? Third or fourth time, I'm like, my friend just has needles. They, they weren't, they became not a big deal. Yeah. So I grabbed one that was new and I just, it was a diabetic needle. And I just put it in. I was like, <sighs> wow, that didn't hurt. I was like, that, that, you didn't even feel it go in. I, you, I could do it to you. And if you weren't paying attention, it was just, it would just slid in. I was like, huh. That didn't hurt. So then when he said that, he was like, well, you just use these diabetic needles. I was like, well, they don't hurt. And I'm about to hurt really bad right now. Right. Uh, so we got that stuff. I put it in. I was like, wow, this is this is better. Okay, this is cool. So then he didn't have Vicodin the next time. And then my friend But he had was, liquid Vicodin. He had liquid Vicodin, but it was very expensive. Was he Israeli too? Is he doing the body body? This is body. Liquid. I'm sorry to say he was. Oh! <laughs> yeah. He was. He just he nods. Yeah. His, like, yeah. Yeah. Bag. yeah, he was a doctor. No. And so then we, we can't we can't get the liquid. The liquid was too expensive. And so my friend goes, let's just go to downtown LA. I, I bet you we can get hair and we're already injecting. So this was within like two or three days. <laughs> And so we just, I, I'm in a suit and tie and we go down to downtown LA. So now there's gourmet coffee. There's gelato places. Ten, in 2006, it was not, it was not like this down there. So it was like a war zone, but I was in a suit and tie and my friend was like in a, in a Raiders jersey with tattoos all buff. And they were like, they thought we were under covers. And so my friend had to go get it. And he, you know, if you're a white boy down there, they're just like, how many, what do you need? So he was able to get them. We, we brought it home and I was like, I don't, I just repeated what I saw in Pulp Fiction. I was just like, okay, you put that in there. You must mix it with water, light it up, and it makes this solution. And then we didn't even know what we were doing. And like, I'll never forget this. One of my best friends of the world, he just came on my podcast and talked about it because he's, he's newly sober now. So he's been out the whole time and now he's like six months sober. So that was, you know, he kept going. Wow. And, um, and I'll never forget, it was at the time of Tiger Woods golf. And so he went to go we were playing video games before we went to get it. And then he came and like shot up like hardcore and then just started playing video games. And I go, Hey man, how is it? And he just looks over at me with his hat backwards. He goes, Oh, it's the shit. <laughs> and then I was just like, this is a bad idea. Like, what are we doing? And then I went and, and did it. And the, my first thought was like, why would I ever drink a beer? Like, what am I wasting this is my the best. time for? Like, yeah. I can't believe I, my first, thought was like i can't believe i'd swallowed drugs or smoked them or hung out in bars this like, is the way to go what am i doing it yeah. just felt like you took the concord to like paris rather than a greyhound you know yeah. I was like yeah. what am i wasting my time sounds for? like a pretty good sales pitch to give it a I shot know. I, yeah. if you're out there i recommend <laughs> it, 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 did it you barf because that always gets me in the oh, when the movies no i just was like happy and i just like you I didn't just, vomit i heard no. doesn't it doesn't like and you didn't pass you. out no i just my body just loved because oh. i'd already built oh, up that correct. tolerance right. so it was like boom and so so then, so then now I'm. So would you be? Can I ask? Would you be? Because heroin's always portrayed as like nodding off, which I mean, it does happen mm -hmm. to people, right? Passing out. Yeah. People look like a. Re At this point, you do heroin. Does it make you social? Are you social on heroin? Ver I'm a social butterfly on heroin, yeah. and I got fat on heroin, and I because I was like, you know, Chris Farley, John Belushi, like oh, I was, right. I was that. By, and you could see in this oh, video, wow. I was that variety. I would just like, I just wanted pleasure, so I would shoot up and be like, I would do a line of coke and be like, let's eat pizza. Like I was just yeah. a, a like a Chris Farley guy i just wanted more and i still am like that i just have to watch it now but um so then so then i i'm doing real estate and i have i had a pouch of always on me of cocaine so i would shoot up and if i got to i would go to do to go sell a building so i'd be at like an eighty thousand square foot building you're selling a church you're selling a factory in van Nuys that's empty right so like a ralph's market that's empty i'm in there and my clients come in in 20 minutes and i would shoot up i'd just be like holy <gasps> shit. i would fall over and be like oh boy you know and then but then i would have my coke and i'd be like uh and i would do a bump and be like here we go and uh, you know how did your body handle did you f very, i mean I'm very lucky i was like, with a prostitute one night and she saw what i was doing and she was like i do not i can't you're gonna die in my yeah. presence and left and that's well, here i was like oh. well not because heroin's a downer and then coke it's, that's is how a, I, that's how everybody goes out yeah i'm so very 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 lucky your heart can't even probably take very, that. very 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 lucky Whew, I'm supposed you must to be have here. great genetics i'm I mean, supposed to be here i got I was you're also lucky it. you have coke because the coke would bring you up a, <laughs> Out of those out of the slumps to sell, to sell more. So what are we looking at here? Okay. <laughs> so so this is perfect timing actually. Are we okay on time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So 
Okay, I'm getting excited. So now <laughs> I'm shooting heroin, doing coke, oh selling selling real estate. Secretly, you guys, I wanted to do comedy. There's only a few things I care about on this planet. When I start, when I watched Mr. Show for the first time in 1994, <laughs> I was like suicidal when I was a kid, and I never don't share that a lot. I was like, okay, there's people doing this. Yeah. yeah, I could. I'm. I'm gonna live. There's some. There's something here for me. Yeah. Watching Mr. Show. Watching early. early my, my parents didn't have a good relationship. Watching early SNL with them, wh- our whole family laughing. That meant so much to me. That yeah. that was like, that's better than heroin. The only thing better than heroin is comedy. Yeah. And 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 love. You know. But like, um, but watching Mr. Show is like, oh my god. So I always wanted to do it. This is a whole, I talked about this on the Crab Feast. This is a whole other story. I had I had secretly had breasts that and, developed through period. Oh yes, yes, I heard about yeah, this. Now wait, breath. just to um, just to understand this, so the audience is not going to see what we're going to see, right? Okay, and this and is the a reason, long video. So. Okay, but we'll just kind of yeah. So so is this I, you? This is me. So That's you right there in 2006. So you're then, wearing your karate gi? We can, always. We can show that. Okay. Yeah. So okay, so I'm always so I'm. But I'm, they're they're rolled up too, which is just funny. Strange, just the str- pants heroin are fashion. It's just strange. Up. It makes you wear strange. So I'm looking at a heroin guy right now. <laughs> oh right? yeah, I just took a hit. I just took a shot in my car. Oof. So now I'm selling real estate. I'm shooting up doing coke, and then at night I'm going to these bukakis and not participating, but I'm hanging out. The th- the third time I went, I said, "Can I bring a camera crew with me?" I I stalked Bob Odenkirk. You guys know who that is. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay, so through real estate title information, I found out where he lived, and I sent him Here. a letter. And I said, hey, I need to be in comedy more than anything. I'm not doing it. I'm at a real estate agency. And his office called me. And they go, Mr. Odenkirk wants to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, my God, for Mr. Shows, right around this time. Okay. And he goes, hey, it's Bob Odenkirk. I go, hey, he goes, what the fuck are you doing sending? Who are you? And I was like, oh, my God, that's my idol. I just ruined, I just ruined it. You know, he's like, you don't send stuff to people's house. I have a wife and kids. Because I used, like, title information to get, it, get his stuff. And then... He goes, what do you want from me? And I go, dude, I just want to have a lunch with you. And so he goes, um, meet me at lunch. And so I, he took me out for lunch. We ended up hitting it off, but I was on heroin. So I couldn't like, I just couldn't get it together. And he was like, I like you. You know, he was like, you need to go to UCB. I was like, what's that? He was like, he was like, you know, make videos with your friends, do this kind of stuff. So, so I like, thought, okay, I'm going to make a video of a bukkake. And that means I'm a comedian. Can you even, uh, the story is just, first of all, <laughs> How cool is Bob Odenkirk? He was the nicest yeah. guy. To meet with you. If someone yeah. sends a fucking letter to our house my, and it's happened, my first thing to Tom, I call him and I go, we're fucking moving next week. Some psycho sent us a letter. They know yeah. where the kids are. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's the crazy. Uh, that's such a violent. That married, would I, be the craziest part if you hadn't decided that this was the video <laughs> you were going to so, make. So, so, so in, no. this, in this, I shut down a night at UCB because of this video. So I make this video. He goes, do you know what UCB? And this is like 2006. I was like. <laughs> Wait a minute. You shut down UCB? People were crying. Because you make soda, this? Throw, I showed it to 200 people. <laughs> they're throwing milk at me. They're throwing shit at me going, you fucking piece of shit. Matt Besser's And you don't know what's me. going on? And I'm just like, dude, I was, like, I was like, bring it. Like, cause I was obsessed with Gigi Allen. Who had yeah, met, me I met too. I met him when I was 12. I met him when I was 12 by accident in downtown. Did you wow. know? Wait, but did you have any idea that the reception would be that? No. no you no, were like, oh, no. everyone will be like, this so is great. So Bob Odenkirk, <laughs> what I took from that is Bob Odenkirk goes, you make videos, you go to UCB, right. and you're a star, kid. That's yeah, what junkies that's what you heard. That's what you hear. Uh, yeah, so I'm, okay. Bob Odenkirk's telling okay, me this. So take, all right, so, so I go with the crew. I say, hey, can I bring a crew to, to Bukaki? So I brought a camera crew with me. That's you. you? Yeah. That doesn't God, even doesn't look, look like, like you. Like I know. It's bad vibe, dude. Okay, so let's press play. Let's, yeah, just, let's just see some stuff. This is, yeah. It's set to Madonna. I showed this at. These are all the guys going to. Yes. You're it's saying to, arigato? It's set to Madonna's Justify Your Love. Okay. And these guys are all going to jerk off? It's a very well done video wow. before the internet got big. 2006. Casey Maloney, my friend, created this. Edited this. And everyone's just waiting their turn right, or waiting for the thing to start. It's a community. Right. Watch how everybody. Half of them are homeless. Oh, really? My God. Yeah. You just have to have an AIDS test. Yeah. See how like bad vibe my eyes. I don't like it. You. Dude, you don't look anything like no. yourself. You look a lot better now. It's crazy how much better you look now. How many? How long ago is this? 2006. Do you realize that? So 13 <laughs> years later, you look better yeah. than you did. It's That's crazy. crazy. Heroin preserves you. Yeah. Everybody looks 10 years younger that does heroin. Wow. When, once they get sober. So here, are you like riffing? I'm hanging out, riffing. You can fast forward this it a little seems bit. Like everyone, that's Jim Powers. That's Jim. He had a Bukaki hotline. So you'd call this hotline <laughs> and he was very funny. Hey, Bukaki boys, we're going to be at the Van Nuys airport. We're going to meet there. Then we're going to shuttle over to the tarmac and we're going to go to this. It's always in a warehouse. Or a, it, I went to one that was in an abandoned slaughterhouse and it was just like, 
Uh, I'm, I'm I'm tampering with something outside my yeah okay my so is he he's talking to me having fun explaining what's going to go on and is, then, there, is there there's a music bed the whole uh, time yeah it's Madonna okay. yeah yeah okay so you're okay. talking yeah and it's, I, I, it's it's funny because like I can't even it's weird that it doesn't register that that's you still I'm yeah. looking at it wait how look old like, are you now I'm sorry I'm, just I'm, I'm like, I'll be 39 July 8th okay you look amazing yeah. thank you you look like you're 20 now it's, it's heroin I swear to God. Heroin's it's, good for it you. Also keeps it preserves you, young. you. It preserves you. I should start. It has okay. a preserving quality. So what, what's going on here in conversation? So we're just we're just talking. He's I'm, he's like, oh great, and we're explaining what Bukaki is, and who this is the guy. He had a Bukaki hotline. Can I have volume for a second, or mm-hmm. is it like loud? Come for because the baby needs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty like back. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you're like it's protein. Obviously, you're yeah. talking about the. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's and you're guy. and you're like a Bukaki enthusiast at this. So point. I'm just hanging out there, which is creepier, I think, than participating. I'm just like, so I'm selling real estate at day during the day, doing coke and heroin at night, hanging out at Bukaki's in a karate suit, just kind of hanging, you know, like <laughs> boogie night shit. Like I'm the guy just hanging there, but it's 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 sick. It's soul yeah. sickness. Yeah, it's yeah, spiritual yeah. sickness is yeah. what it is. Okay, so and you're is is this all so, this played at UCB? So okay, so then you Matt, so they they it was before it was like ground level UCB yeah, two thousand six. Yeah. There was, Matt Besser was doing shows. There's ten people there, so they had an illegal and fucked up video night there. And I said I'd like to show my video. And Perfect he, and, night, and yeah. He goes, great. There's two hundred people there, or whatever. <laughs> however, the the original UCB on Franklin holds. It was mm-hmm, packed mm-hmm. and great sound system. And I play this whole video. So like, but at this point, <laughs> everyone's still like, this yeah, is fine. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, well, here's Gigi going. right here. Yeah. I love Gigi yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. So at, okay. Chance. So at this point though, people are just like, this is a funny video. Yeah, funny. <laughs> okay. Now a lot of hipsters. It's kind of like not like not. It, it, they don't know, know actually remember, what's about I, to happen. I, I, though, I remember right? doing those shows. They're horrible. So here, yeah. look at the lineup of the guys. Oh, are gonna, okay. These are the guys that are going to drizzle. And your then face. It, the editing's really good, but we you know I don't want to ruin it because of the music is right. not licensed. But yeah. you know, and, and this is the chance. It's very well edited. Yeah, she's pretty. It's, she's yeah. pretty. She's yeah. seems, she yeah. looks like Paris Hilton. I'd participate. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then everybody starts like, you know, and I'm talking, I'm interviewing I bet them. you at UCB, there's still people that are like, oh, this, this is, is going to be, this is still funny. But they think that you're oh, going to be a joke video. Like they're yeah. like, this is going to be a, a punchline. Yeah. 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 Right. And then, the, and then, then this, this is, is all when, the guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're having fun. Hey, how so much does guys? she get paid for this? this I don't know. But this is the last tier of porn. This is kind of on your way out of the biz. I thought it's your way in. Like your first. No, if this you can is, do this, you can do anything. And are all they allowed to do is jizz on her? There's no like. They they could, I think they could. They let them kind of screw around. Okay. Yeah. You mean so, screw around like so touch you, her? Yeah. If you. Yeah. Is this yeah, where yeah. the laughs start to go down? Yeah. Oh, right here. We're, <laughs> we're still getting some nervous laughs, and there's still like, a couple. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh boy. So if you look, like a lot of these guys are homeless. There's a guy in a Nixon thing. There's there's like diff- different characters. Oh right. Weird shit going Wearing on. Wearing masks. Oh, the guy with the the Men at Work 1983 thing. He always kind of, okay. And so this is the this laughs. Is what you show at the comedy. This is the show. end of the laughs. Yeah, <laughs> no more laughs. Yeah, and I'm sitting there in the audience, like laughing myself, like like. Yeah. He's putting on to always a Trader Joe's bag. Is always yes. where, wherever there's creeps, there's always a Trader <laughs> Joe's so bag. Yeah. So he like had his lotion in the Trader Joe's bag with some snacks, you know. Uh, yeah. So this guy always comes first, and I interview him. He always, he always comes, comes first. Yeah, he he shows us the number one ticket. Oh, oh, you get a ticket? Yeah. Is this wow. gonna ruin my career? No. no. Okay. Wait. Why is he? Why is he always the first? He he, he just shoots wants it off to first. He just, oh, he, just he comes, wins. Yeah. Yeah. He just does it. He just does it. Yeah. I see. And Jim's like, we got to get men at work. Yeah. The number one. <laughs> he's he's. I'm like, hey, what are you working with? And he shows uh, me, and I'm, I'm, you know. Well, it's pretty. Yeah. yeah it's not bad. Hardy piece of equipment. I was like, that's, that's nice. a nice cock, bro. So yeah. he says, I'm gonna jerk the fastest. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's ready. He wants to go. This is, I can't believe you're showing this I'm, comedy show. Okay, so I'm showing this at UCB. Like, this is the, so now so people, tight, people are going fucking crazy. boo. So now I'm interviewing people this as they're This is like doing going to a bar mitzvah and just showing like Auschwitz footage or something. Yeah. Like, Especially at UCB. At the comedy yeah. store, they'd be like, yeah, yeah it's funny. Yeah, yeah. You fucking weirdo. Yeah. You know, but. For those who don't know, UCB is more alternative. I mean, back then it, it leaned more to the left. Mm-hmm. Meaning like, yeah. You it could, still you, does. Yeah. You could do like, I, yeah, you're right. It still does. Like you could do like Stephen Hawking jokes and people would think that was very clever and funny uh, well, i just think it's funny uh, because they, they so pride themselves on this, being edgy is but this it's like when the booze are starting so oh but do people so there's an intern there weeping that her her parents were there this is my, uh, <laughs> and you're like fist bumping <laughs> yeah so i'm it's very funny if you watch this privately like the madonna's playing and i'm i'm saying funny thing i'm all jacked up and i'm like hey bro what are you working with dude what do you think about the war in iraq and i'm talking to them and <laughs> i'm very funny. involved it's very funny dialogue no, it's actually quite a funny yeah. bit I'm, so i, I don't think everywhere it's on the internet funny. for a while and 
No, the funniest part is that you were like, hey, UCB. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, I, and I genuinely thought it was called Fucked Up in Illegal Videos. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I found fair. my people. Yeah. Sounds fair. Yeah, but you're no. right. The comedy store would have been a Oh, better. this is my favorite part. <laughs> Watch this. Keep watching. Ouch. Keep uh, watching. Ouch. He's very Whoa. rough. Watch. Keep what, watching. What is happening? Great editing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is that how you do it? You rub down? Yeah. He's really, and he's got his little leg. Look at him. Watch out. him look at me. That moment. Is was was he special needs or anything? no? Yeah. You're just like on meth, probably. Oh, oh, because he's really grinding down. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Tom? Yeah. That that's not how I do it. And I also like. <laughs> oh, it looks like it hurts. Dude. I also feel like it looks like it hurts. He's nowhere near ready. No, you know? no, 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 no. Yeah. And he was banging Ugh. his head on the wall. And I asked, I asked a a, a porn girl at another one that I went to. I only Jesus went to one more man. after this before when I went with my wife. And I go, do you get creeped out by any of this? She's like, no. Well, and he was there. She goes, he makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Him. Yeah. Yeah, because all the other ones, I'm like, okay. He's I'm banging his head on the wall a lot of times. And there, yeah. I have this yeah. funny moment with this Chinese. Dare this uh filipino so now Every, everyone else seems lovely so for people listening though because they're not seeing this <laughs> the beautiful girl is on her knees with a bowl in, a glass gosh. bowl in front of her the face bowl. and there's just a bunch of naked half naked dudes stroking their dicks all around her yeah just working class guys and you're like entry level ucb video well yeah <laughs> i showed neat. i showed it in his entirety in surround sound, in surround with the, with sound. on the big screen but everyone still has their shoes and socks off yeah, yeah. on sorry on, they're yeah. all wearing their shoes they're pros christina you couldn't see it before but there's dr pepper and pizza provided at everyone <laughs> and there's like everybody's there's camaraderie everybody's having fun it's it weird. Like but, but that's probably a smart move to wear your shoes and socks at one of these events seems like it a lot of shades on looks oh like oh boy oh there is that <laughs> guy the, like, is he toying with his nipple I, yeah yeah like? yeah he bangs his head on the wall sometimes mm. oh like, there's clinton my friend casey really nailed this edit yeah he did a good job <laughs> this is like he was on heroin editing this so these guys is that are potter mostly who's that <laughs> on the right there oh uh, uh clinton <laughs> oh right <laughs> I wonder if Josh would do it. <laughs> yes. What what if this Josh is the only would, thing that can make Josh? Josh come? would do this for. You get a hundred bucks. Ugh, you get a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at you. Look at you. <laughs> oh, he just oh. licked his hand. Okay, this is my oh. favorite moment. Oh God. That guy looks limp. They just let me do whatever I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Steven just You're laid like, on the couch doing? next to this guy jerking off. It's like good vibe though. Yeah, he laughed. He at least laughed. <laughs> now. Where's he going to blow it? Because he's, like right? he's, he's getting ready, right? He's going to do it on his shirt. I don't know. It kind of sucks. Can I ask you something about the? It kind of sucks that like they, um, you got to get, you got to get ready just like sitting on the couch. Yeah. They alone. don't have any fluffers. No, nothing. You're kind of on your own. You. So by the time you walk over to her, you've got to be ready. Yeah. So is she done right now? Yeah, exactly. Is she done when you're following? She's done. And I'm talking, she calls me a sick fuck in this part. I think the video, the sound, I was like, Hey, can I come in the shower with you? I was like single at the time. Yeah. And I was like hugging her and she's like, you're a fucking sicko, dude. Like, cause I was hugging her with all the cum right here. Oh, <sighs> poor girl. That's a rough day at work. Oh, don't hug oh, her. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so so then oh, so then my friend God. Eddie, my friend uh, dude <laughs> I cannot know. believe you hugged her. I wouldn't do that now. Wait, you're feeling bad for him? What about her? I feel bad for her. Everybody no. in this video was sick. She's fine. <sighs> Could you imagine 80 different yeah. homeless guys jizz on your face and it stuff? It's been Christmas in morning. In a bowl. Yeah. <clears throat> um okay. Poor girl. Is it does this end here? Is, this enough. ends. We do a fake. Uh, we do a fake. Um, when someone dies, what do you call it? In, in, uh, a memoriam. A fake memoriam yeah. to the guy that announced himself. If you if you could hear the video, hey, I'm Mickey Rock. You know, and we we said that. Okay, so we did this whole thing, and we said that this one guy died, right? Okay. And I made up this fake story. At they let UCB. this. They let this play till the end. They they were locked in. They didn't want to seem uncool, so they couldn't. It, uh, once it was, they couldn't be like they were coming out showing Gigi Allen shitting on something for their start, right? So, so they yeah, okay. Just, now it kind of changed. It. So why is yours so crazy if that was... Yeah. I, I don't know. Look, oh. Gigi Allen, for those of you who don't know, was a punk singer in the early 90s. He died in the early 90s. And this guy would like peel bananas, shove them up his butt in front of people. Knock his teeth out with a mic. Yeah. Like, and shit a lot. And shit. shit on stage. Shit on yeah. stage in front of audiences. People paid money to go see that. So yeah. for them to be like, Gigi's fine. But yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what didn't fit right with weird. me. And that's why as an artist, I was like, I'm doing the right thing because you're having a fucked up illegal video night. Here we go. This yeah. is it. This yeah, meets the well, see, it, it, well, it seems like you know. I'm th I'm picturing like regular 
UCB shows. Oh, yeah. In, yeah. The, in the context of that, this so, seems outrageous. But if they're showing Gigi Allen videos. Yeah, it was strange. They were like, guys were doing like borderline like stuff, but this was pretty hardcore. If you guys have never seen, by the way, the documentary Hated. Oh, Great. It's so good. Genius. And Todd Phillips made it, mm-hmm. who, you know, of course did the Hangover movies, the new Joker movies coming mm-hmm. out. Just brilliant guy it's a great movie yeah it's a great, great. documentary it's really yeah i met him in 92 um gg allen i ran into him like with the guy who edited this video ironically we saw him as a kid but that's that's yeah I, amazing. I, I ran into him i was like whoa like like a week or two before he died oh, but, wow. wow yeah it was a cool like one of my cool sightings I was isn't like, there yeah. a shot of uh, wow. sarah in that yes yeah, sarah in my, my friend sarah burns was at that show that's at the end of hated the last his last show yeah that's so cool following him around the streets and stuff (laughs) that's so fun yeah Yeah. that's so fun so then the lights go on at ucb right Mm -hmm. and everybody starts booing and and, and they go they go oh matt bester goes do you want to have steven randolph the guy who made this video come on the panel so horatio sands was up there with i think that guy jerry minor from mr show Mm -hmm. who was a fan of jerry minor i was like okay and and they're up there and i i'm sitting among them and I'm just a dude who's doing real estate. He's just doing weird shit like this. And they go, Stephen, do you hate women? And I go, uh, I go, that's how they spend mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I go, no, I don't. I hate my like, I hate myself. You know, like, yeah. no. And then and then people started throwing stuff and booing me. And I was like, oh, I was like, fuck you guys. I was like, I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, Gigi hit women. Like, what you and you showed him? Like, what what's the deal? Oh, and everybody yeah. started. And, and this girl stood up, breaking down, crying. She was their <laughs> intern. I brought my parents to this. I brought my you brought your parents to fucked up in illegal videos. Yeah. So this yeah. was like this whole thing. And then I looked on their website the next night they, this video this this night was canceled because of it they didn't have <laughs> fucked up and i felt good i was like eh. hey yeah <laughs> jesus man. yeah Gigi was doing all kind he was hitting all right women. let's jump ahead to something though so you're doing all this shit tell me about taking chelsea okay you take her to <laughs> so, one of these okay so now we have I, I i get sober years go on that's 2006 we're talking 2000 15, 16, I have a podcast with Sam and Chelsea. So I'm obviously telling these. And you're same totally sober now. St- yeah, totally sober. Telling these same stories and Chelsea thought they were funny and blah, blah, blah. And I'm, you know, talking a big game when I'm her friend. I'm secretly in love with her. I end up dating her. Uh, I end up like we end up hooking up one night after potluck. And we're like, hey, I was like, hey, I really want to date you. And she was like, OK, I want to date you, too. And then she was like, wouldn't that be funny? What should we do for our first date? Because we put a lot of crazy stuff online, you know, and, and she was like, what if it was out of Bukaki? Had a bad feeling in my stomach because now this is. I haven't talked to these guys in fucking a decade. I don't even know if it, I hope it's not still going on. And I'm I'm definitely like I'm helping people in sobriety. I I have I have a, a nephew, two nieces. Like I'm like a different person. Yeah. But I've talked this big game, and here's my dream woman. It's like, dude, that wouldn't that be funny if we went to Bukaki <laughs> for our first date? And I had a bad. I was like, hmm, this is gonna be bad. And I was like, yeah, that'd be funny if Jim Powers still doing it. So I had his fucking number, you know, you change cell phones and the contacts must have changed over. And I texted Jim Powers, hey, uh, you still doing Bukaki? And he texted me a flyer for one that was coming up that week. <laughs> oh, boy. And I was like, dude, dude, he was like, just texted me a flyer. And I was like, for like Bukaki 58 or whatever it was. And I was like, bad feeling. And I showed Chelsea and she's like, oh, my God, this is going to be so awesome. And it was out here in the valley. He's like, OK, this is fucking rad. So as the time's going on, I'm like, bro. The girl of my dreams, 50 dudes jerking off, and me. Like, there's no, I don't have anything to hold on to. There's nothing, you know? So I, I go pick her up, and she's in fishnet stockings, dressed like a fucking hoe, she super know. hot. She's yeah. like, you know, she used to be a stripper. She's cool. Like, yeah. she's fucking, she's like, she New knows York what's chick. up. Dude. Yeah, yeah, she's okay. works at the comedy store. Yeah, she's so tough. She, yeah, she's tough, but like, she, I have I, I talk about it a little bit on stage. It still hurts for me to talk about it, but I say you know the only thing more crazy taking your new girlfriend to Bukaki is when you realize your girlfriend isn't afraid of Bukaki. And it's like <laughs> she. So we get there and we go to like walk into that waiting room. Now this waiting room is even bigger. There, and I have pictures on my phone. I could show you guys later. So there. So we go into this waiting room and there's like 30 guys waiting and they think so the girl. 100. percent They think. She's, She's the girl because the, yeah. the girl that they're coming on is, is taking promo shots in the warehouse. <laughs> the girl. So we're all in the front on. off. Yeah. So she's taking the promo nice. shot, the pre come promo shots. And so I walk in with Chelsea and they're like, fuck yeah, <laughs> she's hot. I'm like, no, this is my girlfriend. This was like the first oh. week of us dating. And she was like, she goes, show me your cocks. And 
and they all she said that chelsea skidmore said that yeah you could have her on and she could tell you her side i think of it. i love her yeah she's very i mean i married her she's the coolest yeah, you know sounds like too cool and and so they all start whipping out their dicks and i'm pushing <laughs> these guys and get the fuck away and they're like dude like you're you're the weird you know i'm the guy at the yeah. bukkake that yeah. doesn't want a bukkake you know like yeah, chelsea's yeah, yeah. into it these guys are into it i'm like i'm in the wrong but i'm like fighting a fucking hopeless fight and so i'm like pushing these guys you're really away. pushing them back yeah i'm like get the fuck out of here because they're whipping their dicks out i'm like i'm like holding her at bay you know i'm like okay you know whatever so she's like oh let me see your cock your cock and so i start to have a panic attack I straight up pan like medical like i'm like and i tell her i need to get out of here i'm having a panic attack but all the while for two years on a podcast i'm telling the and i'm i didn't come in like i did on your podcast and be like isn't this crazy i was like fucking repping it but now here yeah. i am like not dude that this is a real moment for me because i realized i'm not that guy anymore and i'm like right. i am dead sober i'm smelling all the smells these guys are drinking dr pepper eating pizza fucking man my Same girl's fucking shit. systematically being like show me your cock show me your cock and they're like well let, she, they're like let's see your tits and she's like can i show them my tits and i'm like huh i'm cool sure yeah, yeah and yeah. she like lifts up her shirt and they're all erupting and i just i went outside and i was like god what am i supposed to do right now like i'm a good guy i'm sponsoring people in a 12-step program like wh i love this girl this feels like you're back in the darkness back yeah. back and the devil's like <laughs> you know so i'm like fucking bummed out i'm like damn dude what does this happen but i don't want to be uncool in front of her and so we're in there we're in there and i'm like talking to her and she's like just be cool everything's fine she's like nah dude don't even trip like we're you know we're cool and so i, I was holding her and then jim powers like, bukkake boys let's go and so he files everybody into the room and everybody starts you know jerking off on the girl and i'm holding my my girlfriend who's now my wife like i'm holding her and slowly but surely everybody's popping everybody's popping this girl's covered in cum and she's like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna hold her hair for like the last three guys and i was like okay and so chelsea's holding the girl's hair what yeah crazy just being we're, i think we were trying to like out fucking cool each other first week yeah. of dating yeah, we yeah. both had talked a big game she used to be a stripper i was a junkie like we we're both trying to be cool now we, i this is you so know, she's on camera she's dude well, we didn't sign waivers, so we hope not. She's pitching a show too right now. <laughs> okay, so you, you, yeah. she holds the Oops. hair. So she holds the hair, and I'm like, now she's like doing this, and so then like there's a sound guy right holding it up, and so everybody pops, and so now we're <laughs> we're there with a the girl covered in cum and two camera crews and a sound guy, and he goes, "What's up, fucking creep?" He goes, "You're just gonna sit there and fucking not jerk off on my wife." And I go, huh? Oh, what? And he goes, that's my wife. You're just going to sit here and watch? And he goes, and he goes, I go, oh man, no, I'm not. I just came to watch. He's like, very disrespectful, dude. He's like, you got to jerk off on my fucking wife. What? <laughs> and so I'm like, and yeah. like, there's like two crews of cameras and you know, now I'm actually sober working at the comedy store, like putting together a real effort. Like, this is you just know, like three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it was three years ago. Yeah. So, so there's like two camera crews and I'm like, I'm having, I was like, what's going on? I don't want to not be cool, but I'm also have a boner. Yeah. I'm at, I'm like, she's grabbing my dick. I'm like the trauma of it all. It's like, it's like that's so crazy. Yeah. I'm still kind of horny, but I'm like, fuck dude, this isn't like what I want with my life. Right. And so the guy's like, dude, that, he got really pissed. He's like, fucking pop on my wife. And I go, <laughs> yeah, if my girl right here drops to her knees and sucks my dick, I'll fucking do it. Chelsea dropped to her knees pulled down my pants and started sucking my dick. So there's that moment I think we all have in our different <laughs> lives where I look up and there's two fucking camera crews. I'm in a warehouse, like at that time, like eight years sober. You know what I mean? The woman of my dreams, I always, I, I, I loved her from the start. You know, I'm now like dating her week one. She's sucking me off and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> So aren't you guys being filmed right now? Yeah. Though? Yeah. But I didn't sign a waiver and I don't think I ended up, I, I didn't sign a waiver. Yeah. I, I'm, I, so they, then you get close to coming. I can't, she says I came very fast. So I think I just, with the whole trauma of it all just got me off. And, and so I came, I walk over, I come on her on the, and, on the lady, on the lady's face and everybody goes, <laughs> boo cocky. So all the remaining crew were like, yeah, cause there's a new guy coming into the family. Right. And they're like, boo cocky, boo cocky. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And I felt a part of my, my soul just leave my yeah. body. And so they go porn handshake and they're all giving me elbow 
clothes. Ugh. They're like, you're one of us now, one of us now. And then they're like, oh, dude, like you're so, that's so fucking cool. So I go, hey, Chelsea, I got to go. And I walk out and she walks out behind me and I break down hysterically sobbing. I'm yeah. like, I don't want to do this anymore. I love you. I don't want to fucking Bukaki. I want a real relationship. But this is not who I am. And she, this is the only part that we, she says she didn't cry. She broke down hysterically crying. And, and she says, I never cried. She cried. And we both held each other crying. And that was it. Mm. That was the last time. And I was like, dude, I only want to be with you. I don't like, you know, you have that, like everybody has that thought, like, could I, yeah. like, could I fuck someone else? It's just like, I know for me now, like I had a, I had the, the pass, I, I did it and it, and it did not make me happy. I only want her. Yeah. And so I came on her and then the next night I'm working <laughs> at the comedy store I'm working at the comedy store and I'm sitting in the back with, with Adam Egit and all the people like leaning up against the wall and my phone starts fucking blowing up. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not a fucking Instagram guy or a Twitter guy. And I'm like, oh, fuck. They had taken pictures and they're tweeting us, welcome to the Bukaki family. <gasps> the, the, all the, the girl that was on it and a few of the male no. porn stars scattered throughout tagging me and I'm going, I'm like, Adam, he's like, oh, that's not good. Well, oh, fuck. You know, I'm like, <laughs> fuck, bl block, totally block, delete. Voice. Yeah, he, I'm like, wow. I'm like, he's like, what did you do? I'm like, me and Chelsea did a Bukaki last night and that fucking, I got involved and like they're tagging me. So I'm blocking, tagging, blocking, ta untagging. And you know, that's, that's the Bukaki story. Holy and then shit, I'm man. assuming it kind of got out not it, really well so it kind of it kind of got out there um they were tweeting me but then i just stopped i just fucking i never responded to anybody and i just let it pass well i'll tell you whether or not you're in that thing they're gonna find out now <laughs> yeah, no, well i just figured now it happened yeah it happened. yeah it did it happened i'm a good guy yes i'm a comedian i just want to make people laugh man. Yes. so if, if people can't yeah. don't want to work with first me first of all i'll that. just tell you this it is an amazing story thank yeah. you i can tell that you are a completely different person and i feel like you, it's important to you that people know that, and I think people pick up on that. When awesome. They, oh, thank you. Yeah, I, think you're, you're, I think you're a good guy. I appreciate that. You're a funny guy. And, thank you. And uh, it, it is an outrageous fucking story. It's though. a crazy tale. Yes. Your whole life seems like... Yeah, a there's crazy. a part of that. This is a whole... Dip, like This is what I told on the crab feast, because I went on for fucking hours in there, but I started fighting in a, a Mexican Jerry Springer show. During the same time, it was a Mexican Jerry Springer show where they let you fight, so I would do cocaine, and I started becoming like a little mini star on this show, Jose Luis. Sense and suit, and I was like beating. They were having me back there, calling me Karate Kid. I was just fighting cholos. Like so, then yeah, yeah I got sober very quickly after that. You're wild, dude. Thank you. Um, no, that was Jeez. that's. I know. It's, well, I'll tell you what, though. I found that this generation of people, because of social media, they don't really have a sense of shame in hiding stuff okay. the way that previous generations have had. I feel like yeah. I feel like there just isn't that sense of like, oh, I've done something horrible, you know, because everyone has. Everyone it's, has. Everyone's yeah. got a digital footprint. Yeah. Of some you craziness. Know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe not all of us have a Bukaki footprint, but <laughs> d something. I don't something. know. I've OD'd. That's crazy. I didn't yeah, know that really. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, you, on. I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. I OD'd and, uh, you know, I was in a coma from it. Is the, Did you see the other side? <laughs> No, no. I just, yeah, I never asked that. You never had a near death experience. I mean, that was what is what is there? Do you remember being? I remember in the realm? I remember the last frame of alertness. Really? Yeah, and then I remember waking up, but I don't I don't remember anything in between. You didn't talk to God or anything. No. So there's nothing. I mean, nothing that I experienced. I just remember passing out. Wow. And then waking up strapped down to tables and stuff, so that I wouldn't rip tubes out. You know. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. But I was also 19. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a long mm -hmm. time ago. But yeah. But I mean, you know, it's just one of those things where you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a crazy time. Yeah, you know? it was a crazy time. Yeah, I was taking pills and drinking GHB and drinking booze. <laughs> Every time with GHB, I used to be a raver. Yeah. <laughs> Every time, yeah. GHB. And I had, I had one, you know, <gasps> in retrospect, I, I, I had a, an incident that should have twice should have scared the fuck out of me, which was like, you know, when you alcohol blackout, you go, oh, I don't remember what happened. Yeah. I know I drank a lot mm -hmm. and I have a... Dude, a GHB blackout is like you you didn't do things that you don't remember. You were actually out, like mm. close to Surgery. close to death. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you were like you're fucking close to flatlining. What's the, and what's the fun? Like do you The fun is that you feel so good when that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come close to passing out you're just like super relaxed uh, yes it was very relaxed like we, we used to say i think i said we would call it like permagrin because mm. you would just walk around yeah. like like smiling just, yeah yeah and like if <laughs> you would you know it would give you like false confidence you walked up to a girl and be like oh, and if she was like oh you'd be like oh and then you wouldn't care <laughs> you know you just would feel good and mm -hmm. and it's true that like anything sexual would be 
10 times enhanced mm-hmm. with that. Really? What oh, did yeah. you do on GHB? Just fuck a bunch of girls, <laughs> go to Bukakis and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, just, I'm saying the sensations are heightened, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, we would do it and go to parties, mm-hmm. you know, and we would do like uh, the bottle cap. A cap, right? I right? remember yeah. that. It was that, a cap that right full. there. That's and literally that's what we would put in there. Do. And the and difference then, between an OD and not is like one cap. Yeah. Right? yeah. What yeah. I did when I OD'd was like 20 caps. Oh my God. So it was pretty crazy. stupid. Yeah. But I didn't do it in caps. I took a swig from a <gasps> jug. Oh my God. So I, didn't, I remember it being in my mouth and like, that's hot. And then like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit. Oh my and God. And how long were you out for? In a coma? In the coma? Uh, eight hours. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They had a, they had a prayer v- vigil at the, at the hospital. So people had lit candles and were like. It worked. I guess. Yeah. It worked. Man. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But that was my bukkake. <laughs> Everybody's got their own bukkake. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody well, does. I have a bukkake. I mean, I did a, I did dr- My parents were crazy. Does that count? Yeah. I've done acid uh, too much. Yeah. Well, when I was goth and I... Uh, you were goth? Oh, so long. Seven years. From like 13 to 20, unfortunately. And I ripped out my retainers and threw them across uh, Irvine nah, Meadows. We're, we're on a different level. Yeah, we're I'm an OD. Um, <laughs> hold on. Let me think of one. Uh, shit. <laughs> no, but the point is that like... Uh, look, it's embarrassing to tell certain stories. Yeah. But the thing is it actually... It's almost like uh, probably 12-steppy where it's like you tell a story someone else tells a story and you're like everybody's got a I barfed everybody's on a dance floor yeah. I barfed on a dance floor Jesus. when I was 15 I drank two bottles of night train <laughs> what are you talking about and it, it, was a, about? it was a hip hop it, it was the hip hop room I stole a pack of gum it was crazy times <laughs> um, no look alright we gotta wrap up but uh, where cool. can people see you where can people find you um, people people can find me on my, my social media on Instagram yeah sure it's my name uh, S-T-E-V-E-N R-A-N-D-O-L-P-H the number two that's on Twitter and Instagram <laughs> Stephen Randolph too. too. Stephen Randolph too. And then I have a podcast called So Deep where I have some great guests. We go deep. Sometimes oh, we do good. solo episodes. Yeah, Listen, it's very fun. Check so it out. Deep. Try it out. Come say what's up to me at the comedy store. For sure. Yes. They're all the time. And uh, Oh, sh- I want to shout out my friend who edited that video. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Absolutely. Casey Maloney who edited that video. He is in a band. His band is Adult Karate. It's the That video is very well done even with the volume <laughs> off. He's a great yeah. Um, uh, yeah. musician. Does yeah. a lot of electronic stuff. A lot of... They, adult karate I'm so glad favorites. you came by man yeah, thank you thanks, thanks for coming and thank Crazy. you Kevin Blatt yeah <laughs> right peace guys see ya the cool guy club Far out, man. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. We don't have any cats. <laughs>